the world feels like a reality TV show. Nothing that's happening right. really like affects me. I'm just yeah. like, oh, that's crazy. Of course that would happen. <laughs> just like if I'm watching a movie, <laughs> right? Right. And it's just goes no down attachment. And I'm yeah. like, great storyline. You're right. <laughs> but nothing really sits like no, it doesn't resonate to right. where I'm like, oh my God, we almost woke up to a different planet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to a different world mm -hmm. what do you think the world would be like right now if trump was freaking killed dude that's a great question who would it be the, who'd be the who'd be the nominee right now for republicans who do you think they'd put in do you think anybody would vote for that guy any do you think any republicans would be like oh yeah this is the guy that i would want instead of trump heck no they would think there's no one even close they would think it's a plant they would think that it's somebody sure. that the machine wants to sure. be on the Republican sure. ticket. There's, there's against... nobody that they even like. Came nobody close. would nobody trust came it. Close. Nobody would trust it. Dennis, right. the elections would be null and void. Nobody would trust elections. Nobody would care who the candidates are. It, it bro, it would be chaos, chaos, and it's all over this. Okay. I know. Hey, digging your shirt, man. Thanks, bro. This Look, is I'm, from... I'm wearing white instead of black today. <laughs> Whoa. I know. That's weird. I don't I even know, know who you are. It. Bro, where is that shirt from? Uh, Costco, Hawaii. Another Costco. Wait, 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 wait. Costco in Hawaii? Yeah, bro. Are they different there? Yeah. All Costco's have different stuff. What? Every Costco is different. It's catered I can to the... see that at, at my Costco. Yeah, you're in Florida, so you're going to have like wife beaters. Or I guess tank tops are the appropriate term for them. Dude, do you realize that they used to be called wife beaters? I know. I used to call them wife beaters all the time. I used to wear them too back in Chicago. <laughs> like just those. like, like, like Just wife beaters? Just, just wife beaters. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. We got to bring... Well, no. We no, we're not bring that back. Bring them back. No. <laughs> you know, when I, when I do live in Chicago or when I did live in Chicago, because I moved around so much, um, I would wear them like in the wintertime. Because they, they do keep you a little warm. What? So, a, how? Oh, under your clothes. Under your clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just like, yeah. ooh, what you got Bro, there? look at this. Can you thank your wife for everybody? Thank you. Every, thank you, you, my wife, for everybody. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> says thank you. No, say thank you to your wife in front of everybody. Thank you. to. Oh, thanks, wife. Thank you, babe. <laughs> I love you. She just closes the door. I love that. <laughs> I can hear the door close. She's like, what is that? She's like, she's like, it's good. What is that? Strawberry mint slushy. No. Ooh. Watermelon mint slushy. Even better. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, from here, it's it doesn't amazing. look good. It doesn't look appealing at all. Bro, from here. You're out of your mind. But this is just ground up watermelon with mint. I, I'm, I'm so jealous right now. I wish I had some myself. She was just creeping in the door with it cracked, and she's like, <laughs> looking to see if I'm drinking it. <laughs> she she probably put something in there, Ben. <laughs> Did I told her? Because hey, we, we take like a ton of uh like supplements and vitamins and stuff mm -hmm. every day. She just gives me a box. Like it's a box like this big filled with pills that I have to take, you know? Goodness. I don't even ask. I you don't must know. trust your wife very, very much. Yeah, that's exactly what I told her. I'm like, <laughs> if you, because we watch a lot of like on Netflix, we'll watch a lot of those murder mysteries. Do you know what right, I mean? Right. Hey, and I'm like, if you ever wanted to kill me, <laughs> it's so easy. Just slip something in there. I'd have no clue. I'm just like taking it, <laughs> saying bye. I love you. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, to have that trust with someone. That's so nice. That's <sighs> a blessing, my friend. It is. But, but I'll tell you what. I might trust her a little too much. <laughs> She's gone. Bro, I don't know, man. You know my wife. She's it's like a good super thing she doesn't sweet. subscribe to this. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't watch this. Yeah. Hey, you know, she's like super sweet and quiet, and, you know? And <laughs> the, dude, the one time I realized like, uh, I don't know if I trust you as much as I, yeah, yeah. What made you The think first time that? I had doubts. Hey, it was it was like my... It was probably six, seven years ago for my birthday. She threw me, she got all my friends together. Okay. And she put together this like boat trip with all of our friends through Newport Harbor with dinner, with like all this stuff. Like right. she did Beautiful. this whole thing. Amazing. Right. Yeah. And I was freaking clueless. 
And it was a multiple day thing where she had to like lie and like get me to go oh. places and do things. And <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But, and to the point where when I show up to the, to the, to the birthday party at Newport, right at the Harbor, I'm like, I see my friends and I'm like, Hey, why are our friends here? <laughs> like, I didn't, <laughs> there was no, you know, you had it, really like it, no idea it, that it was not happening. at all. Wow. It didn't even, dude, it didn't even click. You like, even when I saw him, I'm like, Oh, what a coincidence. Our friends are here. You know? <laughs> and amazing. it's like on my birthday. And I'm like, I'm totally oblivious. Hey, that and means that you're like, not thinking about yourself. That's and good. she's like, surprise. And I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> and she like starts telling me all these things. And I'm like, Oh, now it all makes sense. Oh, now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> she she's because she's pretty she, pretty I didn't, pretty slick. I didn't expect it. I didn't mm. expect it, and she didn't give it away. So that's where your mind went. Your mind was like, "Oh my gosh, she can use this against me." To like, oh me. for sure, <laughs> for sure. Oh wow, yeah. wow! Instead of going to like your mind of going like, "Oh my gosh, she's so amazing. She did all this for me." No, it's like, "Oh shit, she's going to." <laughs> she can, anything can use this against me. Anything can happen. <laughs> you know, yeah. maybe it's a good thing that uh, you're on your toes a little bit. <sighs> who knows bro who knows my friends here call her a russian agent <laughs> her nickname is bishka rebishka no, rebishka <laughs> hey that's cool i love that yeah, right? <laughs> bishka. she is like the sweetest thing like i've never like seen her like mad cry like nothing like like not a lot of emotion besides just like smiling happiness like you know that's laughter cool. like good for you but that's I'm, how i know her i'm yeah. happy that you haven't <laughs> <laughs> hey you know what man uh, i'll take I, it I, i'll I, take it bro yeah yeah you should you should because if you see all the dating pool that's out there these days my friend how is it bro it's terrible oh no. it's beyond terrible oh, like no. and, and it seems that every anyone that i do like meet through like a facebook group or something they're all they're always out of out of the state like mm. and i just the long distance thing is so difficult right and especially because i'm already like separated from my daughter my family my friends yeah. you know like it's so if i'm traveling anywhere i'm gonna go see my kid or my parents or my friends you know yeah like, to make time for that is difficult so i'm um are you recording by the way yeah Oh yeah. Um, Welcome. It, uh, ben, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is for the, for the, for the, for the, the, uh, the people that really care about. Ben this is members people. only. Well, I don't know. Whatever. No, we'll bro. see. We'll no, see. This is a hang. We'll sesh. see where this goes. No, we're just hanging out. Okay, so we have to be good. What do you okay. mean? <laughs> no, because you know, because the people that actually can like subscribe and get like the members only stuff, they get the real. They get the real, the real stuff. You know. The raw, we're, the I mean, raw. we're, we're pretty authentic and, and, you know, and, and Ben, I got to tell you, I'm so happy right now. Cause we haven't done this in a while. We've we have done a not. lot. We've done content, but it's always been very, you know, um, focused, Profes uh, professional, professional, yes. professional so, as much as I can be, but, uh, this is good. This feels good. It feels good to catch up with you. Yeah, um, man. I, uh, I have some developments in my life. <laughs> I am so curious. We haven't, we haven't hung together in so long. I know. It Dude, feels it's, like been, it's been like two months. It, I think so too. Yeah, I mean, probably the last one was the one with Cam. <sighs> was that you even know? a hang? That wasn't really a hang because Cam takes over <laughs> with all his wisdom. I know. Uh, for you. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so smart. Let me quote you some Bible verses. <laughs> I don't even think we posted that last one. <laughs> so and it shows him like... for making me look dumb. <laughs> 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 me too. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really, really, really good uh, to to see you, brother. And, Agreed, um, man. There's a lot been going on in just the world. I mean, bro, uh, what do you think about the assassination attempt? Bro, did you hear it might have been glass instead, like sharp? Like that's not true. That's yeah, not true. true. One of the stupid guys that was getting interviewed by the Senate said, "Oh, it might have been that, a yeah. piece of glass projectile. We're not sure that it was a bullet." Okay, Dude, they're, they're so and slick. Then, man. And then the freaking director or somebody else high up in the FBI was like, "No, we are positive it's a bullet. It was not a piece of shrapnel." Yeah. But the reason Beautiful. they're doing this is because all they're trying to do is flood. Yes. Yes. Flood media. Yes. With as exactly. much just everything, just chaos. Everything. Exactly. Everything. Exactly. Everything. Everything. Exactly. So that Confusion. no matter Obama what, said it. no matter what you look at, no matter what you Google, was it a bullet? No, it wasn't. It was a piece of shrapnel, according to the FBI. Right. But then you're like, hold on. 
FBI director says, da, 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 da. It is a bullet. So both people are going to be like, look, mm -hmm. the internet says right. it wasn't, and it was. And you're like, right. what's right? Nobody right. knows. Nobody yeah. knows what's Same right. Same thing with the with the Paris thing. With you know, like that was, that went viral, right? On oh, ours. with and the it, Olympics. Yeah, and it could have been somebody that, like, I mean, think about the the, the maliciousness behind that. For whoever posted that first, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to find something from two years ago and I'm going to put it now to make it. Dude, that's the intent oh, behind yeah. that. That's yeah. the intent. The first person that did that, the other people who repost stuff, they just reposting because they think that is true. Right. And we want it to be true. That would have been a beautiful thing. Yeah. But now when you told me that today, I was like, what? Yeah. That's wild, dude. Yeah. Dennis is referring to, okay, so, you know, the everybody knows the Olympic scandal. They reenacted the, the, the what's the Last painting? Supper. The Last Supper with like a bunch of trans people and huge controversy. And I posted the next day. I saw online a video of like a bunch of people in, in, I Paris. guess it wasn't even Paris. It wasn't even Paris. Yeah. People were like, that's not Paris, you know, <laughs> but it was somewhere in France, a bunch of people with candles singing like Christian songs. And the title that I reposted was, uh, uh, the next day after the controversy. So right. I'm like, oh, nice. Christians are standing up. Look at this. They're like in Paris, right, you know, right. dude, the thing gets 1.7 million views. <laughs> Okay. Crazy. And then like I'm checking my phone and people are like, That's not Paris. This was two years ago. Just a wow. bunch of da -da 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 -da. and I'm like, Well, I just reposted because this guy said it was from Paris. Right. The other right. night. We're you part know of the machine. Mean? Yeah. So now we're part of the machine. I put out an apology. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw that. I did see that. Yeah. I put out an apology. Um, thank you. And for said I got hoodwinked. Yeah. Uh but I'm That's probably all right. just it happens to everybody, but at least we admit it. At least you admitted it. Yeah, bro. But, um, man, even with the Paris thing, bro, the number of people in the comments that are like, that wasn't the f last supper. I know. I got they were too. trying to depict yeah. a bocacherie or something, yeah, some yeah, yeah, French yeah. word. Or the, the, the Dionysus thing. Too, it, was di it was a, but there's yeah. a specific word, bucacci or something. Mm. And it's like, you look it up and it's a word that depicts partying and orgies and gluttony and stuff and i'm like how's that any better like oh okay mm. so they're depicting one of those crazy orgy parties mm. cool <laughs> like that's no better than if they're trying to mock christianity it's right. disgusting it's freaking disgusting there's no way around it right. you know what i'm saying but nobody even knew what that word was until somebody from the olympics was like it's not the Last Supper. It's a uh, bocacherie. <laughs> you right, know what I mean? Right, right, like right, that's right, just right. the excuse they put yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. After it blew right. up in right, their right, right. faces, yeah. right? They literally put out an apology. They took saying, the video out. Hey, the, sorry. The, they took the video off. The the whole the Olympics took the video. Really? Yeah, they removed it. Yeah, it was that bad, dude. Good, good. There was a poll on Twitter. Yeah. I don't know how many people were polled, but eighty three percent of the people that responded said that that was offensive dude you had muslims saying it oh for sure there's a lot of muslims and they in our kill comments christians like that's wild uh some do some yeah, do some do all. some do you're right because i that that interview that you had with uh oh, dude james Ra raymond yeah man dude I, i've been watching Good, that right and it, it's uh it's it's blowing my mind i did there's all this stuff i had no idea about yeah. Like, and I love that you're, you're, you're spacing it out too. You, you, you posted separate videos with it, man, you've asked some great questions too. I was like, I'm, it's, it's a good thing. I wasn't in that video, in that interview, because I would have derailed that whole thing. I was so oh, like, no. when I was hearing your questions and I was like, getting the answers, I was like, no way. I, I had no idea, man. Mm. Really great. I'm so happy that, that you did that. That was Dude, so good. It was very informative. Check it out guys. Yeah. yeah. If you want to know about this, I didn't know that they like. Thought that Jesus was going to come back and like Me neither. kill the Antichrist. Like, what? <laughs> what? That was Not amazing. Mohammed. Right. Jesus, Jesus yeah. is going to come back. You know, dude, how wild is that? That we like, we're mm -hmm. both expecting Jesus to mm -hmm. come back, mm -hmm. you know? But guess, like he said, he comes back to break the crosses and kill the yeah. swine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. 
<laughs> wild. So wild, dude. So wild. We're like, we're expecting the same yeah. things to happen with completely opposite ends. You know what I'm saying? Bro, talk about confusion. Talk about division. Uh, it's the, yeah, it's all, right? it's all, when you this think about it. This is the work it, of the devil. It's the work of the devil. All of this, yeah. the confusion, yeah. the chaos, the the manipulation it's all satanic and it's man. all over this is what social media is you know and what's become and you see it that's why you can't really trust anything anymore you're like yeah right, well except for us Venice Mouse, you could trust us yeah well at least we tr we we tell tell people we made a mistake right yeah uh, we own it but um the okay so back to the like the assassination mm -hmm. you know to me i I, you know, I believe, and you know, what I believe, I believe this is all a show. I believe everything that's happening in the political system in America is just a show. Now, how this all went about with, you know, this guy, because now they're saying that he had like MK Ultra training and stuff. Like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm reading this stuff. Oh well, yeah. you know where that comes from, right? Hmm. Did you see that somebody got a Freedom of Information Act or or paid for data from cellular towers around the kid's house, mm -hmm. and they found that there was a repeated visitor from the Shut FBI up. headquarters in that ter in that region to his house repeatedly, repeated, repeatedly. Wow. So people are like, what the heck did the FBI, what was the FBI guy doing there? Yeah. And who is this guy? Yeah. You know, I mean, that's enough right there. If that's true right there, that's enough to be like, okay, now, now, now the question is, you know, I had a buddy that was like, but do you think Trump was in on it? Oh, for sure. A right? lot of that. And that's a, that's a tough question because like, as much as I want to like tag Trump in all this and, and because of what, because of the, uh, the warp speed stuff that got me at warp speed, warp speed. I was like, I was done. I was done. Yeah. Yeah. That was the moment that I'm like, okay, he's, he's part of the system, um, back then. But for him to, to be a part of all this, if this is part of the show, it's, that's a, it's a really good show. Like they're doing a really, really it's good It's a great job. show. I don't, you would have to think, okay, if you want to make the argument that Trump was in on it, you'd have to, th to say that he knew he was going to get shot at some point, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that somehow he was notified and the shooter was notified for Trump to go. Hey. Right. I mean, that to me, that's, that's just, that's, that's just, that's, 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 that's too difficult to, for me to believe. Puts his hand, he puts his life in the hands of that kid on that tower, or I'm sorry, on that yeah. rooftop or yeah. somebody in the tower. Cause you know, right. there's the tower theory, right? right, right. right? Yeah. There's some shadowy figure on a tower right. hundreds of yards away. And Trump puts his life in the hands of either of those two people. And this is the move. <laughs> right. That to that's me, it. that's, that's why I can't believe that. Me neither. I don't think he was in on it. Um, and I do for me, the wildest part about all of this is like you're saying, we're watching a show, right? Uh, the, like the, for me, the world feels like a reality TV show. Nothing that's happening right. really like affects me. I'm just yeah. like, oh, that's crazy. Of course that would happen. <laughs> just like if I'm watching a movie. <laughs> right. right. And There's some shit no goes down. And I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I can see how that. <laughs> like, wow, that was entertaining. Great storyline. You're right. <laughs> right. But nothing really sits, like, no, it doesn't resonate to right. where I'm like, oh, my God. Right. They tried to kill this guy. Yeah. If we, if, bro, we almost woke up to a different planet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to a different world mm -hmm. what do you think the world would be like right now if trump was freaking killed dude that's a great question <clears throat> but there's so that's much going question. on bro even the even the 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 hearings over what happened and who's responsible and you know what i'm saying that's overshadowing the fact that somebody tried to kill this fool right and that we almost woke up to chaos, chaos. Who would it be? The, who'd be the who'd be the nominee right now for Republicans? Who do you think they'd put in? Do you think anybody would vote for that guy? Any? Do you think any Republicans would be like, oh yeah, this is the guy that I would want instead of Trump? Heck no. They would think there's no plant. one even close. They would think it's a plant. They would think that it's somebody sure. that the machine wants to sure. be on the Republican sure. ticket. There's, there's against... nobody that they even like. Came nobody close. would nobody trust came it. Close. Nobody would trust it. Dennis, right. the elections would be 
null and void. Nobody would trust elections. Nobody would care who the candidates are. It, it bro, it would be chaos, chaos, and it's all over this. Okay. I know. That's the okay. thing. If it was like different, you know, like he got shot in the shoulder or like in the arm, I could go with. This is he all planned for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. But this, I can't, I can't, I can't yeah. get over that. They can't be that good because they mess no. up on all this other Everything. stuff, right? Everything. Like with him getting onto the rooftop and all the stuff. Like, come on, it's so Bro, stupid. It's, it's so stupid. It's so obvious, right? It's so obvious. But here's the thing: they don't give a crap how obvious it was at least they used to try to hide stuff they used to try but now they know that they could just blast so much chaos and information and 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 misinformation and opposing information you know what i mean that our brains we don't even know what reality is anymore i heard this one guy refer to it as a buffet of real a buffet of reality buffet of unreality buffet of reality you can that literally yeah. pick and choose what reality you want to live in and what reality what facts you want so do you, so what i think with that because i believe that i believe that that's happening and it's only going to continue the confusion the division oh, is going yeah. to continue and social media was the the, the is the catalyst to all this. It's it's because we have we all have access to For these sure. things and we don't really have control. We say the algorithms because of what you click on, it brings you more stuff, which I believe to a certain degree, but there's also like they're controlling it. So they tell us what they want us For to sure. see, right? They like, were censoring like, the freaking assassination story. On Google, right? With, with Google, even, Facebook, yeah, Instagram. Elon Musk they were said this, it. right? Like yep. so like you so they're te- they're they're allowing certain things to come through and certain things not to come through. So they're still in control of that. Now, I believe that all of this is happening because this is the way to deceive people, to get them confused. Didn't Barack Obama say this? And, and some, you know, when he was president, he said that this is how you control a nation. You get so much confusion in right. the, there's a, there's a video in on the this public can, sphere, yeah, public or space. square or something. Yeah. yeah. And that so much confusion, right? And I don't know what he says after that, like too much of it, but he, I remember this. I remember I watched it a few times and um, it's been a while. But I believe that this is the tactic of the of the enemy, is to confuse so much that there, you don't know what's true anymore, and that you don't you can't identify truth, right? For sure. Now I believe, though, I believe that because um, what does the Bible say about the Holy Spirit? He guides us into what? Into all, all truth. truth. And that's why it's so important to you know read your Bibles to be to be walking in the Spirit of God. Because that's the only way you can discern truth is I don't think you can you can do it without the Holy Spirit. I think up to a certain degree you you could have or you can still, but I really really, really, really believe as as the darkness even falls even more and more in this in this world, that the only way we will be able to see and navigate through this is by the enlightening of the Holy Spirit in our in our minds and our hearts. I really, really believe that, man. Yeah. And and it's sad because I see this all around me where people are just so oblivious to what's really happening in this world. And they're getting caught up in the political thing. They're getting caught up in the Olympic thing. They're, there's a, just, everything is so like, um, what's the word? By, um, oh, there's a word. Polemic? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Polemic might actually fit. I think it does. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Um, ah, there's a word where it's something where two things become so by bi- um not bipolar, but it's this, uh, no, no, no. I'm so it's right there. Uh, help me out. I wish we were doing live because we people would like totally type it in. Man, hey, hey we can do a live one day. We never done a live. Yet, we should man. do a live. We should do it just for before you just move, for fun. move. Yeah, just try it move, out. Move. Let's, Let's do just it. do it, and we'll just talk. We'll just do this. Yeah, we'll just life. do this. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Oh, because we could have gotten a good, you know, like feedback on the Moses thing uh, on live. On YouTube? Uh, probably Instagram. Whoa. People are going to come in and yell at me. No, they forgot about all that stuff. <laughs> I need to ban some people. <laughs> nah, don't do that. Don't. No, do that. there's some trolls that I'm just like, you guys are wasting my time. Yeah, is it that bad? I, I don't look at the comments. It's pretty bad. Is it really? Are you getting your feelings hurt, Ben? Are you okay? Yeah. Hanging in there, buddy. Yeah. Is that why you're moving to the? To, yeah. To, 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 guys, I don't need any hey, service. I don't people, want service. 
You know, wait, wait till you take over, Dennis. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> I respond to this is gonna everything. burn if I take it over. <laughs> I respond to everything. Oh man, I can't do that. Yeah, you can. You have a lot of time now. <laughs> well, I do have a lot of time now. We do it from the beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ben, uh, I love you, and I'm so happy that uh, you're in my life. And uh, sorry for getting mushy right there at the end, but uh, it's good gay. to be friends with Hold you on. because I missed you, man. And um, why are you gay? You know, a little bit right now for you. And uh, <laughs> and uh, um, I think this was a really great night. I'm so happy we did this. Uh, yeah. This was a great hang. It was a great hang. I laughed a lot and uh, mm -hmm. we disagreed. There was we tears, did. there was laughter, there was joy, there was, there was yeah. sadness, there was drama, there was... Yeah questions you know what a show what, what a, a show. show beautiful well done ben. i well wonder done. if anybody is actually going to watch this till the end well if okay if how about you this? watch this till the end write down in the comments i watched the, this till the send, end it will send you a bee <laughs> it will send you the bee <laughs> hey winter's coming that's winter, the point. <laughs> winter's coming <laughs> yeah we'll send you a bee a dark dark winter like biden said hey, is good. biden alive Nah, bro. Didn't you see freaking Skeletor come out? <laughs> that was like half a foot taller than... Dude, I saw that. That was nuts. I mean, come on. They can't be that bad. Do you think Dennis, he's alive? They don't care. They I don't know. need to do things Isn't that well. wild. Isn't that wild? There's no repercussion. They can do and get away with anything. They don't have to try. There's no consequences. What are you going to do about it? Biden's a foot taller. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> So we shot though. we shot homeboy in the ear. What are you gonna do about it? No one's even talking about it anymore. They're talking about Nothing. the Olympics. The Olympics. The, hey guys, yeah. the Olympics. And what's things. next? No one's talking about Ukraine anymore. Nothing. No one's talking Nothing. about the You're border. Do nothing. No one's talking about. It's a new thing. It's a new no. whoa. It's <laughs> shiny shiny penny syndrome. A new one every time. They're they're. It's not even lazy. They're just conserving energy <laughs> because they don't have to give That's that true. much attention to covering up anything. They're laughing at us. They're laughing at it's, us. We're, we're a yeah. joke. It we're is a joke. joke. That's how it's stupid. all a joke. That's how stupid we are. And everybody's just like, on to the next shiny thing, you know? Ah, bro. And we almost woke up. We, we were an inch away from waking up in like chaos. What would have been chaos. like? Do you think it would have been really? Okay. Do you think the. Uh, the the right would have like really like stood up and, 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 and like was there would there have been a call to arms? No, no, nobody would so. nobody would have done have anything. Either. Nobody would have done anything. If I, you, I highly agree with you. If you are in America and you still have that sense of like freedom, patriotism, right. you know, oh, it's gonna work out. <sighs> How, how'd that go for you? Six years. How's, how's it going? Right? Yeah, yeah. Trump was in. Yeah. COVID went down. People are still in prison without, without uh, a jury trial, right. without anything. Right. Right? right? Solitary. They've been yeah, in prison dude. for almost four, since January 6th, right? No They've been in prison. Fun, no trial. So no sad. trial. No trial. How's it going? What, nah. Did anybody stand up for anything? No. Nope. What'd you do? You waved the flag in the street? Okay, cool. Right. No, Close Americans Americans are fat, comfortable, dependent. Okay? Yeah. If totally. you threaten their job, they bend. they're going to put they bend. Right. experimental chemicals in their butts. I don't know if that's where the shot went. I wouldn't know. <laughs> but then they'll go and do it four more times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay? Yeah. All you have to do is threaten their job. Bro, they're That's, injecting something in their bodies because their job is threatened. Exactly. Exactly. Do you understand that mentality, bro? Yeah. Like how far gone the majority of this I world got bills. is. I got bills. Not just America, this world. Go get stuff in your butt. Except Poland. I think Poland's doing pretty good. Probably more than Poland. Hungary, I think, is also doing good. But... Uh, that that's america bro that's america and and they're dependent i think that's the biggest thing more than fear more than comfort yeah, more than yeah. fat and lazy it's dependent, yeah. it's dependent. they're dependent on the system because sure. if you don't get stuff in your butt chemicals in your butt then you can't pay your mortgage your kids can't eat 
Right. You're not growing food. You didn't build a house in the woods. You didn't. Right. Everything that you own is indebted to the bank and they will pillage you. They right. will come in and steal everything from you because that's the freaking system. Right. So line up and get chemicals in your butt. And shut up. Don't do anything about it. Complain about it on the internet. Yeah, that's fine. America! America! You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all we've boiled down to. Nobody's coming to save you. People are not going to rise up and do jack crap. When I said that we would have woken up to a different America, a different world entirely, okay? What I mean is there would be no elections, mm -hmm. okay? There's no elections. Right. If it's not, if Trump's not in there, whoever is, mm. is a, is a, a, a psyop. They're part of sure. the system, Guaranteed. okay? Guaranteed. Nobody would trust the outcome of the election. Nobody will anyway. But try putting yeah. somebody else in forcibly because yeah. you just killed homeboy, right? Yeah. So that's There's what no I mean. way Kamala can win this election. Uh, she probably will. There's, there's plenty but of ways. There's that she no, could win. no. What I'm saying is, like, in, in a real election, there's no way. No. In a real election, there's no way. No, no, no. There's everybody, no way Biden would have won. Everybody hates her. There's no way Biden would have won. It's crazy, and nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. No. Don't be. No. I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm no. not trying to be a Debbie Downer. I'm being realistic. Yeah. Right. Nobody did anything the entire time. Listen, Trump right. didn't do anything. Realistically. Tell me one thing in your life right now that is any better as a result of Trump's Nothing. presidency. Nothing. Nothing. There was a, that, that four years with a little bit lower gas and... No, no. Now. Some right now. No, nothing. It's worse. The, it's only, the only thing you could say, the only thing you could say is Supreme Court, which is great. That's huge. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. huge. And, and, and with the whole, with the whole uh, abortion thing, right? They, with, they overturned... That was Supreme rate. Court. That had nothing to do with Trump. Right, right. Supreme but what Court, I'm though. saying yeah, yeah. is, those are the only. That's the only thing that affects our life today right. positively. Sure, sure. As a result of Trump's presidency, yeah, I agree. Is that he got the Supreme Court folks in there? Yeah. No border wall. No. No freaking uh, swamp clearing. No. 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 Uh, no. 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 Nothing. No. no nothing. That's residual. Right. That's ongoing. Right. You know what's ongoing? Warp speed, baby. Yeah. Chemicals yeah. in your butt. Yeah, and our food and, and everything else, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, in yeah, particular, yeah. that's sure, sure, the sure. one thing he passed yeah. that still has effect in our lives today. That's why they needed him. Uh, probably. I think they needed him. Because I don't think it would have happened in the way it did. I don't think it would have gained as much traction to Warp Speed under Hillary. I don't think, uh, that, 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 the le I don't think that the right would have accepted what Hillary... I would've. mean, it, 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 it still would have made a huge dent, but not as much. I think that they, that they needed Trump because it would, that's the only way that you can get the right to really get Jack. I don't think he was like in on it. I don't think he knew what he was doing. I just think he trusted the people around him. He's not a medical he still expert. Doesn't, he He's doesn't, not a medical but expert. he still doesn't denounce uh, Fauci, does he? Uh, he denounces Fauci, but he still touts Warp Speed as a success, yeah, see. you know, which is a big, which to me is a problem. Yeah. Um, Huge problem for me, too. So, so all I'm saying and is. And by now he should know. Come on. Of course let's be he honest. should know. Of by course, now he should dude, freaking know. People so at that's his rallies, what me when off. he brought up warp speed, people at his rallies would boo. Yeah. Okay. But, but the thing is, mm. outside of Supreme Court, nothing positive. We have warp speed, which is a negative. And we have, bro, the division. Oh, more than ever, yeah. All yeah. right. Listen. Republicans didn't like Obama for right. eight years, right? Right. The country was not this no. divided. No, no, no. This divide. No. He's been the catalyst right, for, the, for the bifurcation yeah. Oh, yeah. of this nation. For sure, for sure. And listen, there's no going back. This has been happening no, for isn't. eight years. Yeah. Eight years that the media has been like, Trump, Satan, Nazis, conservatives, evil, gay, everybody, trans, yeah. everybody. Like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been this past eight years. It's yeah. been full on. It's been warp speed, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. It's been warp freaking speed for the past eight years. There's kids that were 10 years old when Trump got elected, right? They're 18. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. They're voting. And it's been Trump mm. is Hitler. Literally Hitler. All conservatives are Nazis. Yeah. Okay. Dude, That's in their right. brain. And they're entering system. college yeah. and they're entering yeah. the voting booths. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's um, a great point. 
So, so there's no kumbayaing. There's no going back. What do you think, like literally as an American, even if Trump wins, cool. All right. What are we going to get? Gas prices go down? <laughs> like what, what's going to happen? What is going to happen? What needs to happen in this country for my neighbor that's flying like a trans flag, right? And me to be, like, oh, we're friendly, by the way, but I'm just saying hypothetically, for us to like come together in the streets and be like, America's the best. Right, right. What right. would it take? The Antichrist. Uh, dude, pr uh, <laughs> listen, maybe, but you might say a war. Like, mm -hmm. if we go to war, that usually uni unites. Yeah, but I don't it's got to so be that. against, like, Russia. We're already at war against Russia. Yeah, We're not united. Yeah, proxy war with that. Well, hot war? True. We got to start, like, drafting and stuff like that? China, Dennis, or Russia. Yeah. Dennis, most of these people are... They would be happy that America is collapsing, being Americans being killed. Oh, for they would sure. be happy because they mm. hate this yeah. country. Right. So what the hell would it take to unify people in this country? Who could do that? You think a president can do that? How are you going to undo eight years of like the psychosis that you've worked into people's heads, that you've spiraled well, them up? Definitely not in this state that we're in. Um... It's got to be, I think that the only way is if like both sides are so sick and tired. And I see that too, like even on the right, like, and on the left, you see it both happening. You see these segments of people that are coming out of the left and the right that are just like, all of this is bullshit, right? Like, so like they're, and I think that we're coming, I think there are some people that are coming to an agreement of like, okay, this is all fake. This is for all sure, a show. For sure. There's a you lot know? of people like that in the middle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Left yeah. and right. But more, we're, yeah, yeah. we're yeah. gravitating towards the center. There's still psychopaths so. on, yeah, yeah, on, yeah. on the yeah. outskirts, right? Yeah. But, okay, it's all bullshit. Mm -hmm. Cool. A lot of people agree to that. Yeah. Do but you think that the people in power with the system right. at their fingertips are like, Oh no! Oh, they're not scared at all. I guess they don't believe us anymore. We should yeah, no. leave. No, no, no. They're going to do whatever it takes, sure, to keep us squashed. And whatever it takes is going to be really scary. Like the the more, more. because the takes. more people that do whatever become center takes. and do start to agree, then they're going to get stronger and, and, and they're going to get more heat on 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 the situation. Right? They're gonna they're gonna put more more uh, gas on the fire. Right? Already, yeah. whether it's uh, race or you know, for sure. uh, health Dennis, stuff. Dennis, or... They shot Trump. <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. On TV. <laughs> it's so gnarly. You think they give a shit? You think they this. give a shit? No, they don't give they a don't. what? Did, well, they didn't care with JFK, right? Bro, so they didn't care with, you know, so. Do like, you think they cared about the consequences? Do you think they were scared no, of the no, consequences? No. If no, Trump didn't. They, 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 they already did the analysis on both sides. For sure. What would, what would happen sure. if, you know, he lived or if he didn't or what? They already oh, ran those numbers, they're ready. right? Oh, oh yeah. they're ready. Yeah. yeah. They're They've not got pulling a plan the trigger B on this. for him. They oh, have for sure. a plan B for mm -hmm. Trump. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if they were successful, how much do you want to bet if they were successful? There would have been some uh, PSYOP CIA operatives that went and blew up a building, maybe shot some places up, all under the con conservative flag. Right. And they'd be like, the, the powers that be, the system in place would be like, oh my God, the conservatives are rising up. This is civil war. We need martial law. We need to clamp down. We need to... You see what I'm saying? I right. bet you they would have tried to use Trump's death to go after his followers because they would have false flagged some shit. You know what I'm saying? In, under the guise of conservative, conservatives and Trump supporters that are, that are outraged. Right. You know? Yeah. Maybe some governors get capped. Who knows? Who knows? Something big would have happened and we would have been, we would have been blamed. Yeah, it's true. You know? It's very true. Because they would need to consolidate power. They need to squash what's going on. And they are not worried about the consequences. At no, all. they're not. No. Because they're blatant. Bro, bro, it's a kid 20 years old with a freaking ladder. I know. It's, it, it's ladder so ridiculous rifle, how that whole thing finder. went down. You're, and to get that accurate, to like actually get oh. to his head, like 
That's just Dude, crazy. They, to me, they don't even care. They don't even care. They're yeah. literally like, oh yeah, just get that one kid that that we've been talking to. Just mm -hmm. give him a ladder. I don't know. Yeah. What's the plan? Yeah. Just give him a ladder and a gun. Put him on the roof. Yeah. And cares. then just say, just yeah. say no, no, we didn't know. Sorry, it was an accident. Yeah. <laughs> we messed up. Dude. Just put him on the like. Take it. Tell him to take the shot. Like, who cares? Nothing's gonna happen to us. We're 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 safe. We're safe. There's no consequences. What are you going to do about Bro, it? But that just tells you, man, like how far gone we are as a nation. <laughs> we should have instantly got on the night of the assassination. Attempt. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, I was, I was doing uh, something that I've never done before in my life, which I'd like to share. During was, the assassination uh, attempt? Yeah, I did, uh, I did a three-day fast. And so I totally oh. turned off like everything and I didn't talk to anybody for three days. I didn't, I just spent time with, with Jesus for three days. It was incredible by the way. Wow. And, uh, so when I, I got, when I, when I was done, I remember calling my parents, my, my dad's like, um, Hey, so did you see the, the Trump stuff? I'm like, no, what happened? And he's like, Trump, oh my God, it was an assassination. They're like, get out of here. Like I miss so much. You oh know? my gosh. <laughs> he's like, wow, you really did. We're like disconnected. Wow. I had no idea. And it was amazing. It felt really good. I'll be honest yeah, to, to yeah. be off. It really wasn't that difficult to be off of the social media. Um, uh, the, the the eating thing was the, was the hardest, of course. Oh, but you didn't like, eat for three days. I either? didn't eat for three days. Dang, bro. Yeah, I I, I drank water, um, and I drank um, a, a little tea. It was like Saturday night because it was like. Oh, okay. Then hard. you didn't fast. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Flavored like, does this break water. the law? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Um. But like, I don't drink coffee and stuff. I, I do a little bit now, but um, I didn't do that during the fast. I just, I just water and, and, and Bible and reading and yeah. audio and books. And it was so good. Um, so good. Uh, I did, That's I did amazing. do something though. I left, I went down to Palm beach, which was about a four hour drive. And, uh, cause I just like, well, I took a day off of work and then I took the weekend and I'm like, well, I gotta like, I need to keep myself busy kind of, you know, and just like, just not sit in my house all day. Uh, so starving. I'm starving. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> I want to make it. So then I'm like, well, let me get on the, on the road. Cause I do like to drive. And so I'm like, all right, let me just go drive. And, and I went down, which was great. I found this awesome beach. And, um, cool. but again, it was just really, really by the third day, Ben, um, I have never felt that connected to to our father like mm. I, it, like it's like 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 ever before as far as i mean of course the first encounter that i had with god was different but this uh whole thing was um like reading became so different and praying became different like by the third mm. day and i wasn't even lightheaded i i actually thought i could go another day it was kind of weird i'm like after i got the second day was hard and the third day i'm kind of like you know i think i could do another day Wow. Um, and, and I want to do that. I want to go to four next and then Bro, just kind of gradual. Could you imagine 40 days? That's why, you know, and, and that was a little oh part of it. What I wanted, you know, cause I've been reading a lot and it's like, how, and I, and, cause you got to remember he was human, right? Yeah. And he, you know, he didn't use supernatural. I mean, at the end he said he was hungry and the angels attended to him, you know, but I can't. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, so he was hungry. And so I don't, Bro. I can't understand how that's even possible. Um, but, but okay, hang on. Let me take that back really quick. Actually, I can't understand a little bit because Ben, there is something supernatural that happens when you're hungry, physically hungry, and you actually just go read the Bible. Interesting. There's something that takes over where you don't get as hungry anymore. Like I'm not, while I'm like stomach pains didn't really start. They happened a little bit Saturday night. I had some stomach pain Saturday night. And then by Sunday, I was fine. And, but I'm telling you, it was really intentional. Mm. I was constantly reading, constantly praying, constantly listening to like an audio book. Mm. I, I think I finished two that weekend. Um, and I, I did actually. Dang, and bro, I, how much time do you spend eating? Where'd you find all this extra time? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I, I, yeah, that's a great question. Um, I don't realize. Jeez. It. But I, uh, <laughs> no, it's because I worked a lot too, yeah. but I didn't work that weekend. I took the day off and then I just, I, t I told my daughter, I told my family like, Hey, three days, like I'm done. Like, don't even like, I, cause I won't respond. I'll just turn it yeah. off. And so, uh, it was really, really, really incredible. And there's something that happens physically where you don't need to eat. It, it, it's weird, Ben. I, I, I've, I've been fasting for about maybe seven, eight months now on Sundays. Hmm. Um, pretty pretty, uh, um, uh, consistently, mm -hmm. uh, I missed only a few here and 
it doesn't like really do as like I don't know how to say it. Um, the the day is is great, um, but the the outcome for that third day, there was something that shifted that third day mm. that I can't explain. It wasn't there the first day or the second day, but the third day something shifted where I didn't. Sorry, my dog is like growling at people. I think people also. Um, something that shifted where I didn't need to eat. Very strange, I wonder, man. I wonder how long you could go. Well, I want to do four next and then do five and just kind of like gradually just keep going just as long as I can. Um, I have, I've heard that before. I've heard that three-day water fast is supposed to be incredible. Super healthy. Seven is like Seven the most is, incredible thing yeah. you can do to your life. Like they, they say that it adds like years to your life. All this stuff, your cells get regenerated and all yeah. these things. I, I looked into a little bit. And obviously, you know... Jesus is onto something, you know. Um, Dude, okay, well, hold on. First, <laughs> if we have any doctors listening that want to come on to tell us about right. health stuff, like fasting, that'd be great. Yes. Uh, send us an email. Apparently, we have an email address somewhere. <laughs> uh, secondly, just or just comment, that's true. Yeah. Hey, secondly, do you realize, like, fasting was part of the, like, Mosaic Covenant? They were supposed oh, to fast. Totally, dude. Once yeah. a week. Yeah. Once a week. Yeah. Okay. Um, I and for me, in my opinion, like there's a bunch of really weird dietary laws and traditions and stuff within right. like the mosaic laws, right? Um, don't eat shellfish. Don't right. eat uh some kind of meat in its own in its mother. Don't eat like calf meat and it's yeah. mother's milk Some, yeah. and you're like yeah. what yeah. don't eat pork don't you know what i mean like all yeah. this weird stuff bro how weird is circumcision i know i, know. I was just having, i just had this conversation yesterday oh, with someone so okay crazy. so god's like hey you're my people but here's what i need you to do ben <laughs> and if you don't do this you're not my people i okay? believe i how believe weird is that i believe with circumcision all the dietary things all the uh, ceremonial things. I believe it's all purposeful. I don't believe For sure. any of it is just because. I no. believe every single one of them has an, an intentional For sure. something behind it that we won't understand sure. or we don't understand. But I think we're we're starting to understand. Uh, I think they all have a purpose to fulfill God's promise to Abraham that I'm going to make your children as numerous as the sand of the sea. Mm. Okay. His, all of the things he imposed on them in the law was, I think, for their own health. Yes, 100%. their own well-being, hundred percent. Their reproductive health, their mental health, their even Sabbathing. Right. Take a break. Take a oh, break once a week so you don't burn out. So you mentally you're good. Just focus on me. Reconnect with me. Your family. Sit around. Eat dinner together. You know what I'm saying? All of it. All of it, bro. Think about it. Pork is. We're talking about. We're talking about back in the day. We're not talking yeah. about now, where I go get bacon, grill it up, and it's like kosher you know what i right, mean right we're talking about back in the day when pigs were disgusting right okay right, right and how many the thing everybody died from was disease like mm -hmm. that's what you would die from more like more right. than likely was diseased right? right and so he removes the dirtiest form of meat out of their diet he removes shellfish which mm -hmm. is also yeah they're the freaking parasites of the yes yeah bottom yeah. of the of the ocean right you know right. what i'm saying so he removes that we know those aren't healthy shrimp right. lobster all those things they're not good for you high in right. cholesterol too we know yeah. those things now mighty Bro, tasty though <laughs> mighty tasty hey circumcision if you're not circumcised bro they didn't shower yeah they yeah. didn't shower okay once in a while they'd like go in the river or something, or maybe like wipe down right. with the sponge. They right. lived in the freaking desert, desert. Yeah. covered in blankets. Okay. Like they would cut, they'd be covered head to toe, right. To keep cool. Right. They weren't going around in wife beaters like we do today. Right. Can you imagine the stank and like it, it's, how nasty I you can't would imagine get. it. I think and, about it sometimes. And, I can't. Oh, I think about it a lot. <laughs> and the women's, bro. Like I know. I don't I know. know, bro. Oh my god. Okay. Anywho. Um so can you That's for imagine... the members only. <laughs> yeah. Members only. Members we'll only. go into more detail. Uh can you okay, so if you're not circumcised and you got a little anteater, right, on the tip, uh stuff builds. Yes. 
Okay. If you're not showering and cleaning constantly, right. stuff builds. And so you're going to get infections. Mm -hmm. You're going to get all sorts of things that are happening. So if you're unable to reproduce because you're in pain, because you have an infection, because God forbid something gets so bad that like you lose, you lose something, right. you know what I mean? Down right. there. Right. Uh, that just took out one of the breeding, one of the people that could breed and reproduce right. to add numbers to fulfill the promise that you'll be as numerous as the sand is the sea. So God's like, take that mm. off. There's clean. Now you, now you need wow. to cleanse yourself. He mm -hmm. had ceremonial cleansing mm -hmm. requirements. Mm -hmm. Also take off the anteater skin, right? Mm. Uh, dietary restrictions, Sabbath, take a break, relax, pray, focus on me, connect with your family, communion, take care of the community, take care of the people around you, be nice to each other. And you guys are going to live a great life. Man. It's How all, amazing. Dude, it's all intentional. It's completely intentional. Um, that's so when people are like, dude, the old testament's just filled a bunch of weird like dietary stuff. I'm like, I don't think it's that weird. Bro, I think I, what we do is weird. <laughs> I started again, so I'm in Exodus right now. Um, and I oh, it's, Exodus is good, dude. It's the it, Ben, a post unseen realm. Exodus is good. It, it, it's it, it changes everything. You everything. guys have to read Unseen Realm. I'm telling you, you have to read that book and then go back and read the Old Testament and yeah. slowly and, and understand. Yeah. But Ben, there are things that are popping out to me that yeah. I, man, I've been, I'm 44 years old, too. dude. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. cool. I'm 44 years old. I, you know, the Lord changed my life at 42. Prior to that, I've been in church for all those years, except for six years of those. Cause I was like, on. <laughs> I don't know where I was for six years. That's exactly where I was. I wish I had a sound bite. <laughs> that would have been perfect. Oh, uh, maybe I'll add it later. later. Yeah. And, but, okay, so prior, you have, a, you know, almost three decades, right, of me, on, you know, being in the church and, and, and serving and being around Christians and stuff. You know, I read in, for the first time, I'm so embarrassed by even saying this, that during one of the plagues, one of the plagues was complete darkness that I didn't even know about. Yeah. All right. So three days of, it said, the Bible says thick darkness, day and night. Yeah. Yeah. But in Goshen, where the Israelites lived, there was a supernatural light mm -hmm. inside each home. Cause Wait, the, the, it says that. Yes. Cause the, the, the moon, Bro, are the, you the sun the amped. Yes. That's it's, not it's, what... The amp is so amazing. The check it out. So lame, it dude. The say amp that. is amazing. Yes, it does. Because th 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 think about this: the the moon, the sun, and the stars were all were all darkened. Everything was dark for three days. Uh huh. So what what was lighting them? You think that the city just had a, like a, their own like little sun? There was a supernatural light. Bro, listen. The sun, stars, and moon were not themselves turned off, as if there's some switch. <laughs> That's there the was says. probably yeah because it's wrong it's, i don't think so i'm gonna read okay. that i'm gonna get that archaeological archaeological they probably ASB. there was probably a don't fog kill my my no my there was right probably now. a fog there was probably some kind of mist there was kind of something thick that, darkness bro thi exactly they thick. couldn't see hey, anything thick thick yeah. darkness itself is not thick okay but okay. it's black they can't see anything. yeah so it could be like a thick For three days bro fog over egypt itself so you know what do you think? Like, okay, okay, okay. So during the day and night. <laughs> so do you think that like they could actually see? Oh, it was a thick fog, darkness, but they could actually see a little bit. No, no. They, they're in dark. I didn't say but that. But then how about in Goshen? Then how how are they walking around? No how fog. are they totally fine? No fog. But then how about so? Okay, so you're just saying that the fog was on. Okay, that guy doesn't make sense. <laughs> Supernatural light inside each house. Hey, that's what the amp says. So Supernatural I'm go light inside I'm each house. This and we're or gonna it have could a be whole other episode. Of no, I'm gonna. Do, I, I'm, I, th I still think. I, I still think I'm right. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna, funny. I just need more information. Okay. okay. A Exodus is incredible. Yes. Post the whole point of realm. that is that I'm reading stuff that I like. I guess for I sure that, but it, but it's making so much more sense right like to me yeah. and, and how it affects me i mean you're like you're talking the old testament stuff is affecting my this modern life of mine you know like it's so crazy dude Dennis, hmm. you're telling me yeah that's what i just said. you're telling me you have the archaeological study bible i do i got it and you're reading exodus in the freaking amped yes i know man. i know that You're would upset you and i'll tell you why out of your mind there's a reason for this um there's a reason for this i, to I piss me off <laughs> that's that's 
reason B. Reason A is to is because uh, I want to. I, I do like the amp, especially in uh, Psalms and New Testament. Uh-huh. Um, I do. And it does, it, it, it's very similar to the ESV. It's very similar to the ESV. It's more similar to the ESV than it is to the New King James uh-huh. um, and NLT. Um, would you agree that AMP is better than NLT? I don't. I don't uh, no, I wow. don't know. Okay. I, I, I would think it is. So I, I would agree with you. In the Old Testament, I probably shouldn't be reading the AMP, but uh-huh. because I have the ESV archeolo- archaeological one. But okay. I want to go through it and I want to highlight it and I want to go through it, like read the whole thing so that I can give it to Annabelle. Oh, okay. So That's cool. I, w- yeah. I want to do that for her. Um, and, and the ESV is, is, is definitely next, is my next Bro. Time. Okay. But, okay. Can you at least do this? Read the amped and then get your archae- your esv archaeological study bible yes and read all of the footnotes There's and a lot additional of footnotes con- in that book oh my gosh bro okay hold yeah. on and, and they're pretty amazing i did skim through them it's pretty no pretty you good. have to read it while you're reading through yeah. the passages yeah, you're, right. you're right you're actually you're actually missing a ton hmm. like you're missing so much because the archaeological study bible as you're reading certain passages it will tell you about discoveries yeah. in that area that are proving what mm. was happening in like the text. And we're talking about like, oh, hey, cool. go to the museum and check out this tablet. It talks about this thing. Mm. And look, it's mentioned here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or or it'll tell you why they do certain things the way they do. Like why I'll give you an example. This isn't out of Exodus. This is out of out of Genesis. Uh I think it was, uh, I think it was Abraham or Isaac, one of those two, gives their, their miss, not mistress, what's their like second wife, uh, concubine mm-hmm. or something, gives their concubine to their oldest son, I think Reuben. Okay. okay I think I remember this. Yeah. So who is this, Isaac? Uh, no, Jacob. Jacob, Jacob had, uh, okay. Yeah, Jacob had Reuben. Mm-hmm. So Reuben, it says Reuben took, Jacob's, uh, yes, not, not yeah. concubine, but whatever the term is. Yeah, and then whatever the, her name is. Yeah, okay. And, was, and, and you're they like got pissed. You're like, what the heck? No, no, no. He didn't. Yeah. No, hold on, hold on. Later. L- later, but hold on. That was okay. for a different reason. He got pissed for a different reason. He got pissed because he hooked up with uh with uh um, I think his son's daughter. No, his son's wife. His son's wife, because oh, Reuben's yeah, son's that. Anyway, hey, could be, yeah. listen. <laughs> so, Reuben takes Jacob's mistress or yes, concubine, concubine. Okay, mm-hmm. and you're like, that's weird. Why did he just freaking jack his dad's right. wife? Right, and he's like with her now. That's yeah. pretty weird, yeah. right? But then the footnote says this was a common practice in that time in that oh, region. Wow, and it was a sign. The father. The patriarch would give their firstborn son their concubine, and it's a sign that they now inherit the household. Like, oh, without wow. that context, wow. you're just like, dude, why is Ruben like taking this dude's mom? Kind of gross. Yeah. Kind of weird, right? You just, yeah. that was your mom. <laughs> now it's, yeah, it's now it's your, your dad had relations with that chick. Exactly. That's weird, man. So, it's still weird, but all all, all that weird. to say, <laughs> sure. all that to say, that was a common practice in that region, mm. and it wasn't like a Hebrew thing because the Hebrews ah, didn't exist yet. So it was like a cultural common. It practice. was a cultural thing in that territory. Ah, and well, maybe that's just, why he got mad at him because he shouldn't have done it. No, you're listen. You're confusing it. He didn't get mad for that reason. I, I think he did. Yes, I think so, he did. You have and to the, go back the and learn. Says it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There was a supernatural light in Reuben's bosom. Oh, it's so right. good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hey, so no, that's what I'm saying. Read the freaking okay. archaeological study Bible along mm-hmm. with the Amped, if you like the Amped. Okay. Well, I'm, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll implement the in the in the Old Testament because I'm reading both the Old and the New at the same time. Dude, it's so but, good. Uh, bro, I can't get enough, man. I, I love it. I'm telling you, everything has changed where it's like, I just... <laughs> it's same. I, I feel like 
like if I'm ever going to meet anybody, it's going to be like, they're going to think I'm the weirdest guy because they're going to be like, and I need to meet someone that can like, like hang with me at this point because ladies, like, wait, hold on. Uh, what do I push here? Ladies. It's <laughs> a little creepy. If there's any, uh, that was my Barry Manilow. <laughs> any single ladies um, who, uh, who think Dennis isn't creepy. Please, uh, yes, I'm not. Creepy. Drop a comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. share, subscribe. <laughs> so, oh yeah, we forgot to say that. Hey, so can we touch back on Sabbath this really quick? Yeah. Because I uh, just finished reading a book uh, called uh, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry by John Mark Comer. And I love it. Hmm. And I can't re- <laughs> wait to read it again. Um, and it's all about Sabbath. And it's all about being in God's presence in the present, which I, I like to say that Jesus' presence is found in the present. That's a one-liner that I, and again, so a lot of the, the cool thing about like this, me reading this book is I've been doing these practices before I read this book. And there's a lot of things that he was like saying that we should be doing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm doing these things. But mm-hmm. I'm doing these things just because like, I just thought that they were good to do. And I think it's definitely the Holy Spirit. But then, like, I read this book, I'm like, oh, my gosh, this guy's telling me to do the same exact things that I've been doing now for months, and it's so cool. And uh, and other things, too, new things that are that are incredible. But I I highly recommend um, to anyone who's listening is to really, really, really pay attention to the Sabbath and to really learn how to Sabbath. Um, I can't Would tell you. Would you say it's Sunday? Does it matter? No, I don't think it matters. I, I don't personally think think don't matters. think it matters. Um, I... John Mark Homer will talk about like how it's it you should cap off the week and begin the week with it instead of like doing it in the middle of the week because he says it's not something to keep the week together. It's the most important day of the week. It's not like it's it's the most important day of the week. It shouldn't be in the middle of the week so that we kind of get a break from the the week. It should be at the be- at the end and the beginning of the week. So Sunday. So Sunday, yeah, is is he does it he actually does it um Friday night till Saturday night cuz Sunday he he's 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 a pastor also. Right, right, right. So right. he's you know kind of technically working. So Friday night and it's great. He has a family with kids and and he explains like in 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 his way and what they do and how they just turn off their phone uh, Friday night. They don't turn it back on until Saturday night, and they yeah. just spend intentional time with God and their family. They sleep in, they eat, they. That's um, awesome. It's beautiful, man. It's such a beautiful picture, and he, and he talks about like how in the last few years, like how it's changed their life, him and his wife and his kids, even. And uh, you know, it's again, it's the practice of 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 being with Jesus, intentional time with yeah. with with our Father, and um, <clears throat> it's been really good for me. Is you know on the Sundays, but. Um, I really want to implement this uh, in my life for the rest of my life. Um, you know, as, 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 as if I could at least do it weekly, um, which I think, I know we can. It's yeah. not about if, if we can't do it. I want to do it it's, too. I'm telling you, Ben, there's just something about it that, um, this, it's for our benefit. It's not. Oh, for sure. You know, it's, uh, he, he does for it sure. so that we can benefit from it. And it, there's benefits. I'm telling you whether there, there's, um, and, and I know there's, um, you know, the health benefits to it too, but the physical health benefits, but there's this spiritual aspect. Oh, I'm telling sure. you, Ben, on the third day, I, when I was reading or when I was praying, I'll give you an example. When I was praying, it felt like, <laughs> I know you might think this is weird. There we go. But it With felt like amped. my, my, no, it felt like my words were like actually like amplified. Being, were being accepted. Like I could feel like my words moving, like leaving my mouth and like God's like listening and he's like right there. I don't know, man. There's just. Is that, yeah. Is that what the amp teaches you? No, no, it doesn't. Oh, okay. There's a, but we had, we serve a supernatural God, right? And so this supernatural God is gonna, is gonna be strange to our physical reality sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, listen, in everything he did in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, like, the things that he, the way he healed people, the way uh, he asked the, the prophets to do things, they were all very, very strange, right? Yeah. Isaiah walked around naked for three years, right? Like, what? You know, like. He did? And that's, oh, come on. Yes. Three years, bro. Three years. Three years. Man, naked. Suck. Naked. Three years to show like some naked, all for symbolism for, <clears throat> for the Israelites. Like. Come on, dude. Like, there's so many strange things. I used to use the, use the word weird, but now I use the word strange. I think it would... Man, that would suck. I know. Like, 
I wonder if, okay, but think about how funny it is. If there was some dude walking around naked today that was like, repent. <laughs> We'd be like, this guy's out of his mind. We'd be like, dude. I know this guy's possessed, but don't we see that we go to the corners. Like we see people like, we're like, eh, I don't know about these guys, you know, and, and, and we're probably right on most of them, but like, we're probably pretty right. <laughs> but now, nowadays, probably pretty right. Probably pretty right. <laughs> probably pretty right. <laughs> you know? but... I don't think, I don't, I don't think they had a lot of ancient <laughs> meth <laughs> back in the day. Oh man. Yeah. Angel dude. dust had a whole other meaning back then. <laughs> But just think about that too, like just the manna, right? Like in the quail at night, like in the, come on, dude. It's just. Have, yeah, for sure. The 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 whole Bible is so incredible, I man. I love it's it. A, it. I don't want to read anything else. Like I don't want to learn about anything else. Like nothing else like matters anymore, you know? Yeah. You want to hear you know, some big, big, okay, sorry, go ahead. No, just, okay, before you get to big news. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, another thing, the archaeological study Bible starts with when you read exodus the very it's got a page before you start exodus mm -hmm. where it talks about how exodus is a polemic do you know what a polemic is polemic no, no. okay hold on let me pull it up word of the day da, 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 da. i should oh, have how sound. Do you spell that paul <laughs> oh man <laughs> amy <laughs> this is a uh, anaheim <laughs> public school system <laughs> benito juarez <laughs> elementary a speech. Pole what? How do you say? P O L E M I C. Polemic. Polemic. I was right. Piece of writing. A, a speech or piece of writing expre expressing a strongly critical attack on a controversial opinion about someone or something. Example what? his polemic against the culture of relativism or sick in the 60s. Uh, so. A, it's a piece of writing that's stating a strong opinion against something. Against a, a controversial opinion. Culture, mm. opinion, idea, whatever. Okay. Oh. So what Exodus is and the reason, listen, Moses wrote Exodus. Moses yeah. was Egyptian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Moses yeah. was an Egyptian for the first like 30 years of his life. Or I don't know yeah. how old he was when he got booted, right? Or when he took off. 40. He took off at 40 and then he, 40? And then he, and then he went back at eight, uh, 80 is when he started the Exodus. No. Yeah, bro. He was 80 years old when he started the Exodus. Holy smokes. I know. Okay. He lived, he lived in, he lived so 40 years in Egypt and 40 years in, uh, in, in, uh, uh, wilderness. Well, yeah. Whatever. Then he got married and stuff like that. Okay. So. For all intensive purposes, Moses was Egyptian. Omar. He was educated <clears throat> in Egypt. Remember, we talked about this with right. Mongo. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. literally said he was raised up in all the ways of Egypt. Right. right. Okay. Knew their gods, knew their system. Mm -hmm. Moses did not know he was Hebrew. He was Egyptian. No, I think he knew, though. Here we go. <laughs> Tell me what the amp says. I think he... <laughs> what are you talking about? He knew he was Hebrew. He, he knew. knew he was Hebrew while he was... In, in Egypt, Pharaoh's yeah, household? because it was his mom that like weaned him and stuff, and oh. like to, and like and like breastfed him, um, in 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 the household of Pharaoh, like, and he, she was around, like there. He knew his brothers, nothing. bro. Why would he then go to when his brothers were fighting out there and be and have remorse for his brother and have like care for his for his kind for his people? He didn't, it says I that. I and then remember, and then he tried to break up the fight. He's like, "Why are you guys fighting?" And then. uh and then the next time he went out there, he saw the, the guy uh, take advantage of yeah. his brother, and then he killed the guy. Why would he care so much if he didn't know he was part of them? Cool story, but there's nothing in the Bible that says that he knew he was Hebrew. So you're just assuming. <sighs> Dude, okay? it's... You're reading into it. No, I'm no. not reading into no, it. No, you're, no. You're, you're not... You're, you're, you're... I'm not reading the words <laughs> that I'm reading. There's you're not reading in it in Bible. context. You're looking at you're looking at for a specific word. You can't do that, Ben. You know better, bro. What are you talking about? Not I'm bro. literally just reading the Bible. You're saying why would he have stopped this? Why would he have? You're you're doing it. You're reading into it. <laughs> I'm not. There's nothing in there that says that he knew he was Hebrew. There's nothing in there that says he had compassion on the Hebrew because he knew he was Hebrew. Nothing like that. You don't know why Man, he stopped it. I can't Maybe wait he till was... another another uh, example comes up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally pin you on that because what you're do you mean be another like, example? Because you're gonna say it one time. You're gonna be like, you're gonna do exactly what I'm doing right now. You're gonna read into it, 
Okay, and, well, because well, it's but, like because it's like but common I'll sense. Tell you, but I'll tell you. Oh, I'm reading into it. Okay, I'm not basing like. Okay, well, so am I mean? then? Then I am reading into it too. Oh, because okay, it's that's common fine. sense. I wouldn't say it's common sense. It is common sense. Let he, us know down in the comments if you think <laughs> it's common sense. This is a good conversation. I think that he. How could he have not known, dude? Easy because he didn't want him. His Was mom he didn't not want circumcised? Absolutely not. He wasn't circumcised. Are you? You don't think that people in Egypt would have been like, dude, what's wrong Bro, with your dong? They, they get. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. Because circumcision, uh, circumcision came later. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. That wait, was a, no, that was... no. Circumcision didn't come later. Oh no, you're right. Okay, Abraham. okay, okay, okay. Thank you. He would have right, been right, circumcised right, right. like the Hebrews. Okay, so and then he was circumcised growing, because how while long? he's growing up in Egypt, naked at like the bathhouses, hooking up with chicks and stuff. They all knew he was he was Hebrew, bro. You're out of your mind. They, all they knew. would have killed him. No, they bro. Not... No, why? They wouldn't have killed him. The, the, the Pharaoh's they daughter hated. They hated for, the Hebrews. Pharaoh's daughter saved him, and she's like, she's like, he's mine. We're, I'm going to protect him, bro. He was protected. Let me let me tell you why he was circumcised. Oh my god! When did when did she put him in the basket to, to in the river? Oh my god! At what age? I can't wait. To it get, was months later. I can't after wait he to was get born. Somebody. When did they get circumcised? That's like smart. On the eighth day, <laughs> they get circumcised on the eighth day. Yeah. So why wouldn't he have been circumcised? Uh, because for they what were reason? Killing babies. But they saved their baby. Why wouldn't they? They, they would be like, ah, oh, forget it. We just weren't, sir. bro. If they were Hebrews and they were so on top of their their religion, they would have circumcised him, even if they would have if they would have killed him. They 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 kept him for months. They kept him hidden. How do you know they kept him for months? The Bible we're, says this. Says what? Oh, oh. the Bible Man, says if that. Only you would read like not right. be amped. All right, I'm gonna get you. Let's go. Bro. I'm Let's get go. You. I'm gonna get you. Okay. Um, man, go right all this there. because I was trying to get to the word of the day. Oh yeah, can you go that while I'm while I'm looking you at freaking killed it? Hold on, I'm looking at this polemic the birth of Moses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You find that? Uh, so a strongly worded criticism, right? Against something like an idea. Uh, what are you mm -hmm. doing? What's going on? I, I got it. What you got? Are you ready for this? Yeah, I am. Go ahead. Okay, uh, Exodus uh, 2, verse 2. Okay, go ahead. The woman conceived and bore a son, and, he, and when she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him three months. ESV, buddy. Wait, wait. Okay, go on. So and you're telling me that... Go on, go on, go on. And when she could hide her no longer, she took a basket and of bulrushes, whatever, and daubed it with a bitmen uh -huh. and pitch. And she put the child in place and among the reeds in the Yo, riverbank. Hey, she hid him three months, right? Why did she hide him for three months? Because they Kenneth? were killing kids. They were killing. Oh, the so they were killing kids for three months. They were killing kids for I don't know so, how long. So, so, yeah. well, hold on. She could no longer hide him after three months. They were killing kids for more than three months. She got rid of him because he was right. probably crying, making noise. Yeah, she yeah, couldn't yeah. hide him anymore. Yeah. So they've been killing kids for three freaking months. Right. They might have been killing kids before three months. Sure. But she sure. was still pregnant. Sure. Once she gave birth. So we don't know how long they were killing babies sure, for. Sure, sure, sure. Okay? okay. You're telling me she went to the temple or wherever they perform circumcision with the newborn baby boy who should be getting killed. You don't think there's like soldiers at the freaking temple being like, why do they go hey, to the you temple? Got a boy? Why, they, why can't they you come got a to boy? their house? Let me kill you. They do, they do, they don't go to the temple to do it. They can do uh, it anywhere. Uh, so you think that rabbis or whatever they were back in the day, because listen, there was no temple. Let's be fair. Yeah. You yeah. think that rabbis were, or whatever they are, were going to like, totally. Hey, do you have a newborn baby in your house? Can I bite it's for ant eater foreskin off real quick? Cause that's how they used to circumcise. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Um, even though everybody else's babies are getting killed, can I just yeah. do this real quick? Yeah. Good luck to your child. I hope he doesn't die, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter because if the baby was going to be born eight days later, if if he can be circumcised, they're going to sir. So you're thinking that it's, since the baby was not, so the baby was born, and you're saying to while me that while they're killing, while they're on. killing babies. Well, obviously Moses was born. And yes. he lived three months, right? Yes. Okay. So he lived at least those three months. You're telling me that they would say no to circumcision when it's the, when it's such an important thing in their in their in their in their uh, belief system. Yeah, I think they would have said no. They would no. say, "Why would they say no? Uh, Just because the kid might die anyway." So that the kid's not like, eh, eh, 
No, nah, dude. eat her skin. And that makes Pharaoh's no soldiers sense come to me, And are like, hey, is that a boy? Brothers not soldiers, like, right there every single moment. They're, they're, well, what do you talk? How do you know? They're, they're still passing down their, their, their traditions, aren't they? During that time, they're still teaching their, sure. their, their kids and stuff. But you don't, you don't think that they'll just like delay circumcision so that the child can have a better right. chance at living? When was Moses circumcised? Oh my God. This is going to be if, polemic. If, <laughs> word of the day. There's no clear reference to Moses. Oh, circumcision. weird. So are you reading into it again? Oh. Bro, he was definitely yeah, circumcised. Okay, man. Dennis, let's just, we'll wrap definitely. this part up. Listen. All right, we'll wrap it so up. Here's, in the guy, comments, not, if you guys. The, okay, here yeah. it is. In the comments, let us know. Okay. Yeah. Let, me just, let, let me just lay it out real quick, timeline here. Okay. So, Pharaoh passes an order saying, hey, too many slaves, right? They're going to overpower us. Let's kill all the firstborn of the Hebrews in the land of Goshen, right? right. Firstborn, what, men? I think up to two years old? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Okay. I'm of the opinion that when Moses was born, his mother was too busy hiding him to care about circumcision, Okay. And Dennis thinks that they would have adhered so strongly mm -hmm. to the call for circumcision on the eighth day yep. that she would have risked getting found out that she just had a baby boy just to get its eater chopped, right? Yep. Um, <clears throat> she was risking every single day. She was risking right. every and single when day. she could not anymore, you know what she did? Tossed the baby yeah, in the freaking river. Yeah, three months later. It wasn't like right. 10 days later. Right, right. It was three so, months. She yeah, had plenty of time to do circumcision. I think she was just trying to like keep the baby alive but in the comments let us know if you guys think it's reasonable or whose po whose position is more reasonable yeah second of all the other reason why uh i don't think he was circumcised was because oh my god they would have never let the daughter of pharaoh take a hebrew slave child that was supposed to be executed as a freaking pet he was second, or Bro. not second in command. He was one of the top dogs. Bro. Keep reading, keep reading, where Bro. it talks about how far Moses ascended in the house of Pharaoh. There is no way they're letting a Hebrew slave ascend the house of Pharaoh. Absolutely no way. They were despised. They were killed. They were thrown away. Bro, they were killing their freaking kids up to two years old. And you're telling me they're going to be like, oh, yeah, put this guy in command of everything. He's not going to betray us. Like, he was in command. About? How high did he get into the household of Pharaoh? If I'm looking for it. Right Plus, now. I just watched the Ten Commandments with Charleston Heston last oh, week. That's why. That's why you're all messed up. No, bro. You read the Amped. <laughs> I love these conversations. This, this is so all because of the Amped. They're so good. No, I'm reading the ESV right now. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, I can't find it. Oh. Uh, maybe I made it up, but it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Because they do. They do say that he was. Um, I believe the the answer to that to that question of like how was that even possible is because I think that the Lord had favor on on him and and he made their hearts to to not want to kill him. Why did why didn't she want to just get rid of the baby right away? Why wouldn't she just get? Why would she even take the baby? Okay, listen. God doesn't have to like soften every single person's heart that knew Moses was Hebrew in order for him to survive. Okay, he could have just. People could have just not known he was Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? And it takes way I, less miracles to do that. I don't think that they can. I think that they knew he was Hebrew from from a baby. Okay. Three months old. Let us know down okay. in the comments. We're good. We're what do you think? I love that we had that conversation. I'm. That was so good. Can't. I'm, How come I can't find that? Error. Error. <laughs> oh, error. <laughs> That's how frustrating this is for me right now. I can't wait to get somebody that's smarter than both of us I to know. come on here and be like, Dennis. The school is both. Are you retarded? No, he's going he's gonna to totally agree. He or she is going to totally agree with me. Bro, it's never in my life crossed my mind that Moses was circumcised, ever. You're the first person. I can't think of it a different ever way. Ever to suggest that to me. To me, it sounds ludicrous to think that he wasn't. Wow. That's how, that's how, that's Bro, how I feel. Hey, hey. I'm going to do a deep dive hey, into this. You vaxxed? 
<laughs> no. Bet you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. I bet you are with mindset like that. <laughs> bet you are. That's the kind of that's the kind of You're those are the kind of perspectives, you know. You You're hilarious, have. man. You're wild. <sighs> okay. Anywho. I love you. I love you. Polemic. Yes, let's go back to polemic. A that was strongly really worded criticism, right? In writing yeah. against a opinion, perspective, whatever, right? So ex Moses oh my god. Moses was Egyptian. Mm -hmm. He had no idea he was Hebrew. We're sure. back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how we got here. Yeah. Except for if you want to assume, <laughs> like Dennis does, that he knew the whole time. Why would and he that everybody and that everybody around like him knew. Everybody why would he care about him. the Egyptians? When they were, when why would he they were, care? Is when the they were bathing. Why would he care? When they were bathing. Why would he leave? And every single person in the bathhouse is like, dude, what's up with your, where's your foreskin? They knew He's he like, was. He's like, oh no, I'm Hebrew. He was it's untouchable. Cool. You know the slaves? It's cool, I'm Hebrew. Yeah, Don't worry they're about slaves. It. They're okay. When they, when they go to perform like sexual rituals with prostitutes at temples and stuff, right? They're, the prostitutes are like, I've never seen that before. He's like, I know I'm Hebrew. Um, you know the slaves? It's, I mean, don't, don't worry about it, though. It's, it's cool. Check it out. Because he is high up in, in Pharaoh's like, uh -huh. so who cares? He can do whatever he wants. So, so, okay. So, unless you're like Dennis and assume that everybody around him knew he was Hebrew and he did as well. Moses, for all intents and purposes, was Hebrew for 40 years. Okay. Knew yeah. everything about the Egyptian. I'm sorry, yeah. he was Egyptian. Knew everything about the Egyptians, mm -hmm. their gods, their sacrifices, their way of life. E everything, everything, everything. Rose up to top dog in Pharaoh's household, ran the show, ran slaves, did the whole thing. Okay. And then at 40, takes off and goes into the wilderness. God appears to him, shows himself miraculously, calls him, uh, calls him for himself, tells him to go back and free the people. Right. So, Guess what? You know who else was pretty Egyptian, but not fully Egyptian? The Hebrews. The Hebrews that were enslaved. Right, right. What did they know about God up until that point? Think about it. Moses hasn't come to them, hasn't been like, I am sent me. They don't even know God's name. God first reveals his name, I am, Yahweh, mm -hmm. to Moses. Right. Who came before Moses? In the lineage, in the patriarchy of Christianity. Abraham. Abraham, Isaac, Joseph. Jacob. Yeah. Or Joseph. Ja Jacob, Joseph. And Joseph, yeah. Right? Yeah. And before that, Noah, Adam. Right. Okay? That's the lineage. It's just seven right. dudes, I think. So, yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. That's seven. Uh, but none of them, like, received Ten Commandments. The name of God ways to worship him, details about him. All they knew is, uh, what, what did Abraham call God? Uh, he had a name for him, or he used a certain title for him. Abraham? Yeah. The God of our father. Okay, that's it. That's all it was up until then. It was the God of right. our fathers. Right, right, okay? Right, right. That's all the Hebrews knew, and that they were, that they were chosen. That's all they knew. They didn't know anything else about God. But you know what they knew a lot about? Egypt. Because they've been building that place for 400 years. They're right outside the gates. They know their cosmology. They're, they know their gods as well. They know their rituals. They know their holidays. They know everything. They know everything. They've been there for 400 freaking years. They know everything about Egypt. Okay? But they know that they have the God of their fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when Moses writes Genesis to the Hebrews he just freed from Egypt, he's using a lot of Egyptian ideology, cultural references, divine references. And a polemic is criticizing those beliefs yeah. and those systems. Okay. So he'll he'll use their ideology, the Egyptian ideology, which the Hebrews knew, and then he'll criticize it and point them to the one true God, the God of their fathers, who has now revealed himself as Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? Even bro, even the even the ten plagues on Egypt, this is this is like a pretty widely accepted fact now. 
were polemics against individual gods of Egypt. Are you there right. or are you frozen? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm here. Oh, there it got it refocused temporarily. So <laughs> anyway, hey, even the ten plagues were polemics on gods of Egypt. They weren't just random yes. God yes. God wasn't just like right. uh right. dude, I bet these guys would hate it if like it's dark right, for right, three right. days. <clears throat> yeah. They had a god of the sun. Right, right, right. And right, right. God with every single plague was showing the Egyptians, I'm bigger than that God. Mm -hmm. That's they had so a God cool. that was bro. Every single everything, one of them. Everything, everything, everything <laughs> so in Exodus, so awesome. everything in Exodus is on purpose, and everything in Exodus contrasts Egyptian way of life to what I want for you. Right. But he uses Egyptian concepts because the Hebrews knew them. They didn't mm -hmm, know anything mm -hmm. else. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's also something I've learned in the archaeological study Bible. Okay. Okay. I think I, I think I learned the same thing in the end, by the way. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Cause I didn't know that. I didn't know that it coincided with other uh with other gods. Like every uh -huh. single and I learned it in the end. Because that's yeah. all I'm reading right now. How but it's true. Do they have like a side note where they tell you stuff? They have footnotes in the end. Oh yeah? Yeah. Did they teach you the word polemic? No, I don't think uh, they had the word polemic I guess in there. Yeah. I got, but I uh, well look if they do look. if if they do what would you th what would you think about the amp at that point? Uh, they don't. <laughs> they probably don't. I don't even need to think about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta look at it. I don't even need to, that, to look hypothetically it. give you an answer to that, bro. I cannot wait to show you the the truth about Moses. I cannot wait. I can't wait for you to show me the truth that I expressed to you about Moses. <sighs> going to be so nice you're going to be like dennis for the first time in my life you were right <laughs> and i'll take it okay <laughs> let's make a bet <laughs> i'm not a betting let's man anymore get, let's get let me see that tat on I your used hand to be. bro i let used to be a bet i huh? used to be a betting man okay you see that yeah. here's the here's the bet <laughs> if i win you okay. have to go get that tattoo covered i would actually like that that would make me happy actually i've been thinking With... about it with the foreskin. Oh, with... <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> that would be so terrible. <laughs> I can never make that bet. I don't know if I'm oh that confident. I don't know if I'm like, that yeah, confident. you're not. You're not. I know you're not. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you man, just my face like, just deflated a, so just fast. like a wrinkled. <laughs> and you know what? It could actually be done because, like, like look at it. Like, Come it could be the, done towards your mic more. Let me see. Oh, for like, sure, it, it could be totally done. That's perfect. <laughs> it would like flow very, very easily. Look at that. Yeah, I got it. Like, oh my god! Look, it's, I'm making it worse. You're way worse. Oh my god. Okay, there, see, that's good. Like, that's good. You could totally, oh, totally okay. do it. They could totally oh, do that. Man, no one's ever coming back on our podcast because we just talked. About that. Uh, maybe this is members only. This <laughs> might members be members only. only. Members only. <laughs> members only. <laughs> members only. <laughs> oh man, this was oh, so good. Oh my god. Wow. Well, it'll be. Uh, I'm not making. I can't make that. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> but I really want to so bad. But I got to well, give you what, something. What would I have? I to know. Do? I got to. I got to give you something. Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know because you won't, you don't have any tattoos, right? No. no. Um. Ah oh, man. I don't know. I got to think about it because because <laughs> that's a really big one. <laughs> like, dude, why do you have a... <laughs> Nobody would even know what it is. <laughs> no, I think people would understand. <laughs> I think people I would. Know. I would no. never, ever get no. married. That's it's for sure. Just, it's just the foreskin. Like, oh, just the foreskin. It's just, just the skin. foreskin. <laughs> also, oh, okay. No tip. Oh, okay. <laughs> just skin. <laughs> it's going to look like a wrinkly donut. <laughs> <laughs> Only you and I will really know what that means. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and our members. <laughs> and our members, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Our three members. Oh, man. Well, you know, Ben. Oh. This was insightful tonight. Um, I hope everybody learned something. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm really curious what the uh, outcome will be with uh, who sides with who. Oh, yeah. It's going to be down in the comments. Hey, Ben, listen, don't feel bad. Like when the comment section blows up and it's going to be like Dennis, I believe, I believe, I I side with Dennis. I think that Dennis is. Well, don't don't feel bad. You know, people people love you so much. You do such a great job. Yeah, great, great. great, great. That's fine. Yeah. So here's the best part there's no way to prove me wrong. I think there is. I think that oh, yeah? with enough what, are you evidence, exhume the corpse of Moses. No, I think that we're going to look into the to the to text the what? deeper, and we're uh-huh. going to find out that that when he looked upon the the, the the people in in Israel, it was. I think that there's the word kinsman, um, something so, like that is used, and so well, that means he knows that, that 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 he's part of them. Moses wrote that after he already took the Hebrews out of out of Egypt. He knows then that they're his kinsmen. It does not mean that he's writing first person knowledge into that text. Like at that point in time, he knew they were his kinsmen. No way. That's a really good rebuttal then. <clears throat> but um but uh but um but but um but I, I can't I can't be okay with it completely. Who do we need to ask? But it was a good rebuttal. Um yeah, I think we should ask um Do we have anybody in our Rolodex that both of us would trust? <clears throat> Mondo? For, well, I love Mondo. Um, I love Mondo, but I feel like we're tapping him too often. I know, I know. Poor Mondo. But he's so cool. Um, I think also, like, if there's, like, an ancient man. Oh, <laughs> hold like on. Michael Heiser. Where are oh, you? Michael Heiser. He would be. He would answer that so fast. R.I.P. Yeah. Um, I still okay. watch his videos, man. He's, still, he's got some great he's videos. He's incredible. Like, yeah, even, he's like, incredible. Old, old ones when he was super young. And oh, so his, cool. his stuff on... <laughs> He's like the always pol- solid. He was like always solid. <laughs> yeah. His stuff on polemic is incredible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, hmm. Bro, hold on. Hey, Doug Woodward. I thought of him. Doug Woodward. I think we're supposed to do a round two. So this has to be a question we ask okay. next time he comes okay. on. Deal. Okay. Nice. Can you write um, that down? Because I'm definitely going to forget. No, I'll remember. Every time hey. I see your tattoo, I'll remember. <laughs> In the middle of our conversation, we're like, hey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got a question Dog. for you. They usually like, oh my gosh, what is this? Um, okay, hey, tell me what your big news was. Uh, it's uh it's actually sad news. Uh I lost my job today. No. Yeah. I got canned for the first time in my they life. They fired you? I got fired for the first time in my life. Bro, what are you gonna do? Oh, it's okay, it's cool. Um I'm not worried at all. It's, uh, it's, it's, so I've been, I've been praying lately about, um, asking the Lord for like purpose. Like I, I've been feeling like <gasps> I've been working out of necessity right now. And yeah. I, uh, you know, I, I just, and, and the purpose could be in the workplace and, you know, like for sure, but it's, um, I've been, this has been heavy on my heart, uh, for maybe like a month now. And so I think that what happens when you pray about these kinds of things, um, when the Lord starts to work, he, you know, he makes changes in your life to He's make like, room, you know? Okay. Yeah. You, you know, it's like when you ask for patience, you ask for okay. like, you know, humbleness, right? Like, yeah, okay. And, and, and out of, obviously out of love and for our good and, uh, you know, today it was really, uh, the reason why I'm bringing it up even on this is because, um, immediately uh, I, w- I was getting flooded with calls from like the office right because i hired everybody pretty much that wow works right there now um it, it was it was a shock to me when it happened today it was a total shock i had no idea Did we had some, any like good reasons if i tell you the reason you're not going to believe me oh, okay so it was bs it was because I didn't want to read business books. Not that I didn't want to read them. I didn't want to read them at the pace that they were reading business books. Yeah, so that's BS. It was complete BS. Yeah. And um, it was so, like, I laughed when I first told me. I'm like, oh, you guys, what are you guys joking around? Like, it's not, this is weird. Was this like on a call? Yeah, they called me. Wow. In, in the middle of the day. And we were supposed to have like a revenue meeting and all this stuff. And you know what's really funny is today was like the first time where I was like, because they, they had taken me out of like management meetings because I, I, I needed to get out of them. I was just, I was just, I'm just really, really busy. And I, uh, <laughs> and today I was like, I caught up today and I felt so good. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, I feel All like I caught up nothing. today. I know. And then they called me, right? I'm like, hey, are we going to have a revenue meeting? Because no one's showing up to the Zoom call. 
And they're like, oh, we'll have it later, maybe. It's just us, Dennis. And then they call us. I know. And it was just, but it was, it was, it was really strange. I'm being honest. It was very, very strange. Like all of it. And, but here's the cool thing about it. Like all the calls that came in, everybody was like, what is happening? Like everybody was blindsided. No, every, everyone's like, I mean, there's people that want to leave right now. Dang. They want to leave because they're just like, Dennis is the glue. Like you guys don't understand what just happened. Let's and, open up our yeah. own thing. <laughs> You're so funny. This is our um, opportunity. You know, I got a call from my title because so we, we we work really closely with the title group and they handle all of our files. We're like their biggest client. And the main person, now check this out. This is even crazier. The main person who handles all of our files, who's incredible, also got fired today. Whoa. So we are going to open up our own thing. <laughs> and she's like, when she heard that, I got fired. And, I'm like, and so I called her. I'm like, oh my gosh, like what happened? She's like, what is going on? I'm like, I don't know what's happening. But we need to investigate this further. Yeah, it's really, really strange. Something's Everybody up. in every one of the companies I called, they're like, what is happening? We don't understand. We don't understand. And I'm like, I don't know. And there was like people that wanted to leave. I'm like, look, 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 don't, don't, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't just, you know, stay, 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 stay. I'll be yeah. fine. But it's, uh, I mean, it's flattering. But um, I, the reason I'm bringing this up is because the, what God did right after. So it was like, I was getting these calls and there was people that were just like, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And I had a choice, right? To like, you know, shit on them, right? <laughs> Be like, oh, you know, like it was so unfair and all this stuff and which it really was, but it's like, all right, you know, I've been praying for God to do like some changes in my life. And can you sue for uh wrongful termination for discrimination because you're dyslexic and you can't read as fast as them? <laughs> well, you know what's funny? If I was in California, I would probably have a case. Uh because out there they're really for strong sure. with that stuff. Like for sure. But sure. like you know, not in Florida. But it, it's really funny because I did I, I'm like, guys, I, I just don't understand. Like, what's the reason? Give me yeah. the reason. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they said it. They said that you're not fitting the culture because you're not willing to to uh go at the speed that we are. And I've told them, I said, listen, I, we, they had six books in about two months and two and a half of those books I've read. And I said, look, I don't have time. And I made a comment about a week ago. And I said, it's really interesting to me that like, you guys have all this time to read these books during the week. And I am so busy that I don't have time. And they're like, well, you should be reading it, you know, after hours and on the weekends. And I'm like, no, you no. don't. That's insane. No. This is uncalled for. That's I'm like, for you, insane. you know, and that's why, I, and, and they're a California company. I wonder if I can like call California and like, I got a cousin in wrongful termination. You know, it would be a nice conversation to have. No, you know, here's the thing. I'm very grateful, you know, for the time I spent with them. Yeah, it was a yeah. year and a half. It was a blessing. Um, I learned a lot. Um, it was definitely a blessing to get me, you know, to this point where I'm at right now. Um, yeah. I got to learn the market, got to make, uh, you know, there's a lot of good that came out of this. And um, I, I really, I really am thankful and grateful for this with all my heart. And I, I hope that they learn from this and it actually makes them a better company because they, they have a chance to really learn from this and then make them better so that they do, they can take care of the people that work there because they're really sweet people and, um, and they really care. And it's, and I feel bad because like I did, you know, like I'm so, I was such a big part of their lives, you know, I mean, we're praying for the kids for the, one of, one of them had a sick kid recently for like a, two weeks, like almost died, Jeez. like a really, really young boy. And we we're praying for him, you know, and like talking to him and he's like so grateful and it sucks to like, you know, go hey, from that to like, like stop praying, you know, like everybody's like praying, head bowed, you're like leading the prayer in the office, you know, and you're like, amen. Everybody looks up. Mom's like crying. Your boss is like, you're fired. <laughs> I can't talk right now. <laughs> you know what's even crazier we had a reset monthly gratitude meetings that we started and i was the one that initiated them you know it's so like every month we have this like what are we grateful for like the leadership team right the oh, management nice. team and it's like it does supposed to happen this friday you know and i'm just yeah. like so are we still gonna have the reset <laughs> oh <laughs> hilarious meeting. oh man it, it, it's you know this is the first time in my life that this has happened to me and that i get let go yeah because i've worked for myself most of my life and then like to be in this situation and the, the 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 craziest part of this whole thing is when i got hired i was it was the lowest paying job that i've ever had in my entire life the lowest paying job i got i made more money working at subway at 15 years old no way i promise you i made more money at subway at 15 years old than i made at this company at 43 years old when i got hired 40 yeah 
Are you including like free subs that you got? Well, I worked a lot and I just, you know, I'm made, saying, I, did you, you probably got I made free $3,000 $3, a month. Gross. At this job? At this job. That's a lot of subway. Oh, dude. Like I was working all the time. And I, was a, and I was a manager. $600, five foot dollar phones. I worked at subway. And I, I made oh, more you're money. A manager. You're a manager. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> I worked a lot and I, I had nothing else to do. I just worked. Yeah. Um, dude, I got robbed when I worked at subway. I was closing at 15 <laughs> years old and I got robbed by two people at knife point. They I have beat me up. One they question. Me. Yes. I'm not going to ask. We're going to get canceled. Uh, members only. Ask. <laughs> <laughs> you should not have asked. I'm no, gonna, I'm going to believe it. <laughs> I'm going to believe it. <laughs> no, they were not. And I won't say what they were, but they were not what you just said. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> You better, you better believe this. Oh, Why'd man. you make me? <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. What a good day. Were they, was it more of a kind of uh, Juicy Smollett situation? No, not even like that. Um, but they did pop out of the, uh, out of a bathroom. And they, they tried to put duct tape on my face and I, I batted it out of their hand. What? Oh yeah, they like, and then they like, they like hit me. So I was like down. They like got me. They like rip shot me and like, ugh, and they got me down. Oh no, I was 15 years old. I wow. shouldn't have been closing. I was closing by myself. Wow. And they came in through the back while I was taking the trash out. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, dude. So this whole thing is funny. I, I was, I'm just saying that like it, it was such a big blessing for me over the last year and a half, and I'm so grateful uh, for all of it. It's just uh, it, it, it's sad how it all ended. It shouldn't have ended that way. It should have ended. Yeah, that's like, you know. Whack. Like, yeah, especially because, you know, like the, the owners are like believers and stuff. And it's like, dude, like, come on, like, come on. So it, it totally uh, 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 shocked me. But in all of this, there was so much, uh, so so much opportunity to talk to like so many people immediately that like I was able to share the gospel. I was able to share like, hey, it's totally fine. Like, I believe in a God who ha mm. is in control of anything, of everything. And he's got me. And they're just like, huh <laughs> and it's so cool they're like but what that, are you gonna do yeah yeah that was the question like well, what are you gonna do next what are you gonna do next? and i'm like I, I i'm gonna go to the beach tomorrow like <laughs> that was my answer you know you're gonna it's go apply like, at subway is what you're gonna do <laughs> years of experience <laughs> make more money than i was making yeah exactly yeah i wasn't making three thousand now like it was getting right. doing better over the time but when i first got hired three thousand and that was before taxes no insurance no 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 gas no phone no what nothing the heck that's how the, that's what they Bro, paid what me that's a sweatshop dude that's what they and i and i accepted it and then three months later and everyone thought i was crazy and then three months later i was like doing a lot better and then like it was nice. you know it, it grew but anyway um, i want to share that with you i'm scared um, and we'll see what happens next. I'll keep you posted on my uh, on my journey here. Um, but uh, I'm gonna spend a lot of time, uh, dude. If you're willing to take three thousand dollars a month, you should just go work like at a church. Yeah, you know, it, whatever the Lord wants, man. Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm. It would be great to be honest, like to not go back into real estate. I would love to do something else. Um, but you know, we'll see. Um, yeah. I know the Lord has a plan. I'm so I'm actually excited. I, I texted him. You know, Johnny. Yeah. I texted. I'm like, hey man, just uh, just let you know, I lost my job today, but uh, I'm good. And uh, but some prayer would be great. And uh, and he goes, his response was, praise God. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> He's like, praise God. Like I, I just prayed for you and for your future. Are you excited? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hilarious. Like, He's so funny. But that's just that's who he is. And Dude, so, that's great. It's a great mindset. Yeah, it's a great outlook. For outlet, sure. I'm so happy I had that in my life. And, <sighs> and I got comforted by friends and you know, even guys in the company. So praise God. Hey. Oh yeah. Do you realize how much time Dude. you're gonna have to to do focus Venice on Venice the Menace. Venice. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I'm like, should I tell Ben or not? <laughs> He's gonna like load me up now. Oh my god! <laughs> Hallelujah! Hey, give me a day. I want to. I want to go to the beach tomorrow. Just chill for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> a rough couple weeks. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be. It's, yeah, but you know what? Maybe we can spend more time doing some more content and stuff. So we'll see. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 
<laughs> you got really excited. Venice is popping. We're going to take off. We're going places. <laughs> Sorry, we guys. I'm, 17... uh, I'm, gonna, I'm a social media uh, a co-host. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bro, you're going to be lining up interviews. You know, I don't even tell people like it. When I'm, whenever I tell people like I'm going to record a podcast, like, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, my buddy's got a podcast. <laughs> and I'm going to like, I'm going to record with them. And they're like, oh, that's so cool. Uh-huh. And I'm like, yeah, we're just uh-huh. two white dudes on a podcast talking about Yeah, Jesus. bro. Well. Let's get it. We're gonna we're gonna go places right. now that you have time. <laughs> I've done as much as I can. <laughs> I'm moving. And you've done the, a great job. I'm man. moving to the mountains. I know you're. Are you gonna even have Wi-Fi, dude? Are we gonna have like? I are have, we gonna be able to I do have this? Starlink. When but you told in, me that, I was like, oh no, it's intermittent. Have you tried it? Yeah. You know, we're, we're gonna ben, have to try an episode while ben. I'm there. Guys, I'm moving to the mountains. Ben, but but Off listen. Grid. But what are you going to do if if you don't if you can't get a good connection? I'll come into the city. Yeah. When I well, yeah when we have to record. Okay. okay. But I think it should be fine. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what you think about that. I think I'll be okay with it because you're like the one that's more like you're not clear enough right now. Can't <laughs> 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 see your pupils right now. <laughs> yeah. Can you move a little this way? A little that way. Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Fix it. That's me, bro. That's what I do. Um, so you're moving and uh, to the mountains. I saw that it was beautiful. You sent me a video oh of that. God. I'm so it's jealous. I'm well, so jealous. if you have time, you know. Man, I would really, really, really like to come out. But um, it I, might not be the best time. It, it, like it all depends be, on the flights. It sounds like you're going to be fasting for some time. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I love it. Man, it's so good. <laughs> Man, the whole point of us being created to enjoy God is like so good. It's just so good. Yeah. I kind of... Dude, you know what I've been watching? I've been watching The Chosen all yeah. over again. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah, I started uh, again too. Because <laughs> Rebecca hasn't seen a couple of the seasons, and we haven't even seen four. So we're you like haven't working. seen all of four yet. We haven't seen any of four. Oh, so you just started again, so you can go through the whole thing. Yes, with okay. with Rebecca, you know. Nice, nice. Uh, but what I kind of when I see everybody like walking around and everybody's really nice and they're like shalom, shalom, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And they're like, here's a fish. I'm like. <laughs> Dude, that, that must have been nice yeah. where everybody just like knows each other yeah the community was nice. strong man they have the same faith same like yeah dude. culture same religion and so it's just like hey you shouldn't be doing that and they're yeah, like dude. i know i'm sorry i repent no, dude I'm seriously good. there was more good than there was or at least there was more focus on god than not right oh yeah like we live sure. in this world there's, there's like no focus around god for any you know it, it's really hard to find but yeah. there there was the majority like whether it was they like were an, right it was imposed or not. right yeah yeah you know and they grew and up i in think it. i think that's why i think that's why jesus was upset was because they turned it mm-hmm. into like a system yeah yeah you know yeah, for I mean? sure versus like a relationship yeah uh but i'm just thinking like i'm probably gonna try to start something like that up in the hills you know i could see that happening yeah, and it's not a cult. It's just a bunch of friends. <laughs> is he been with his long hair and a cigarette, <laughs> like on top of a roof with a gun? <laughs> oh, dude, I got some great guns. I just bought like a with freaking... a wife beater on. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be like <laughs> you're gonna be like I'm with the sister. And it's called the. You know how when you like pull into a, a ranch or something, there's a, like a sign. You know, people have like signs yeah. over their road. Right, right. My sign's gonna say, "Not a cult ranch." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is safe. And and it'll oh, be man. an acronym: N A C R, <laughs> not a cult ranch. Knacker, knacker, <laughs> knacker ranch. You get away with that in Boise. How far uh, away from the city are you? Like 40 minutes? 40 minutes. That's not, it's not bad at all. Um, okay, Man, I, bro. I, you're like, in a, this is an experiment. Like, I'm, I'm, I've been like super uh, interested to like watch the next like year of your life because this I'm is a sca- huge I'm very change. scared. You went from Anaheim, California. Yeah. In Irvine, California to yeah. uh, first you went, well, I guess you could. Salt did, Lake. It, I went to yeah, Salt Lake for six kind months. Kind of like some stages a little bit. Salt Lake and then Boise and now and then the Boise. Wood. And now I'm going full blown like prepper in the hills. Bro. I know. I'm excited for you. A little nervous. 
I'm nervous for my wife. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why I'm more nervous. I'm not really nervous about you. I at couldn't all. care less. Yeah, you're I'm, good. I'm out there in like my underwear chopping yeah. wood. Like I couldn't care less. <laughs> I'm good anywhere. You I know think, what I mean? I think we need a posting for that, Ben, for uh, for Bennis, my friend. Post what? Of oh you God. chopping in your underwear. In our yeah. underwear. <laughs> okay, I'm coming up. We'll do it. <laughs> no, no. Oh, the, oh, the oh, Bennis, Bennis underwear. Yes, 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 yes. Dude, I gotta get the merch store yes, back up. Yes. I gotta do it. Oh man, I got to do it. The merch store, uh, our underwear was epic, and uh, <laughs> I, I guess I could model it. it up in the hills. That's fine. I want that, man. Somebody asked for a shirt in the comments. Really? And I told him I have to get the merch store up. Oh, dude, we should. I kind of just want to send him one. I know we should. We should. Have sent him. Nobody's ever asked for merch. I know. If they're asking, You're, we should. We should. We should. Send. We should send. Yeah. Okay. Can for you sure. give him yours though? <laughs> I only have one. You have more merch than I do. I'll give him a beanie because I don't. Pro I probably won't wear that beanie, just because like that, those beanies look really bad on me. I have a flat head, oh, really? so those beanies look bad on me. Okay, I'm gonna hit him up. He's gonna get free merch just for asking for merch. If he said like, "Hey, are you? Did you want a shirt?" Is it like, "Yeah, <laughs> we just sent him a, send him a beanie." <laughs> What's your address? And then he's like, "Hey, I got Let's the beanie. Be awesome. Did you mean to send it to somebody else? No, that's all we've got." <laughs> But it's yeah, free. A sticker too. But it's free. So <laughs> stickers and the beanie. <laughs> hey man, I'd be oh grateful for for a free thing for sure. Yeah. Oh, and I have the the flip flops. So I'm keeping those flip flops. Those bad those boys are, are okay. Those okay, are okay. okay, yo. Before <laughs> we get off, mm -hmm. we've got 12 minutes. Okay. Yes. Nobody wants to hear us ranting for an hour and a half. I know. Everything's compromised. I mean, even in our churches, like even if you look at it, like even it's just Christian, the evangelicals, right? Oh. Like. You know, and what's oh. happening in the church system and all this. I don't even, I don't even like, know if I'm evangelical anymore. Yeah. I mean, to be, let's be honest. Like, I, I think we're in a different category at this point yeah. because, like, I don't know if I can associate with that, you know, like, or be a part of that because it's like, man, if, if, if it's even that far gone in the church, right? Yeah. It's embarrassing. Like, man. why would we even, like, consider, you know, outside of the church yeah. people to actually have any morals, right? Um, I want to go harder. I want to be more conservative. Well, right, right. That's, 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 that's exactly right, Ben. Yeah. Like, that's how exactly how I feel. Like, I, I feel like, okay, the, the, the commands in, in the, in the, in the, in the statutes of Jesus is exactly what we need. Like all of them, every single one of them, like more than ever. And it's like, nothing else matters anymore to me. It's, it's, it's this or yeah. nothing because and that's where I'm at. I'm on this side where it's like, this is, and it's so clear to me, Ben. It's so clear to me that like that we like the Bible is truth. It, it's <laughs> even the hard things, even the things I don't understand. It's just so clear to me. And it's so sad that I, you know, that I have people in my life that just don't see it. Yeah. And I'm just like, God. but it, it, that this, uh, okay. there's more to that. Second word of the day. Theonomy. From theonomy. The Greek, theonomy. From the Greek theos, God, and nomos, law. Theonomy is a hypothetical Christian form of government in which society is ruled by divine law. Theonomists hold that divine law, particularly the Judeo laws of the Old Testament, should be observed by modern societies. Ben, is that, are we going to theonomy? I, I mean, I wish. That'd be freaking awesome. I just mm. said I I just said you what and I watched, me I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about the world. There is no theonomy. There is no theonomy. No, on of planet course. Earth. But I'm saying you and me. Is that like is Bro, that what's wanna... happening? Is that what's happening? Oh, what did I say my what did I say my ranch was gonna be called? Uh, <laughs> knacker. No, not a not a cult ranch. Yeah. Bro, knacker should be a theonomy. <laughs> he is starting a cult, guys. <laughs> no, idiot, it's not a cult. It's literally in the name. Grr. It's literally in the name, <laughs> bro. This is this is how this Plant is how it doesn't do. Horses. This is how blatant. <laughs> this is how blatant. Like the CIA is right now. They're right, like, right, no, right. Um, we promise. Right. It's okay. we didn't. We okay. didn't do it. <laughs> no, the name is we didn't do it. Like, what else do you want us to? That's enough, right? That should exactly. tell you. Right? And then everybody online's like. They didn't do it. Look, they said they didn't do it. Ah, oh, they're so honest. They didn't true. do it. Yeah. It's not mocking the it's Last in their Supper. Title. They said they're not mocking it. Right. So, so it's you true. guys are so dumb. True. Yeah. Why are you being so like 
hateful. Uh, yeah, exactly. Dude, I'm not even kidding. I'm getting called hateful online. It's so crazy, man. I know I commented Bro. on, on something and uh, like it was an AP News thing that I commented on because I love to comment on AP News because uh-huh. they're all liberals. And so they just reamed me for like, for like two days. And it's, I just, it's, it's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. It's it, sad, but yeah. hilarious. I mean, every I, single one of them is like, really? Wow. Uh, I was trying to, I was trying to respond to a comment to multiple comments <laughs> where people were like, they weren't mocking the last supper. It's a bo- botchery or whatever it's called, you know, that <laughs> word. And it has nothing to do with Christianity. It's all about the Greeks and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I, my comment was literally the fat chick in the middle <laughs> said, She's the yeah. Olympic Jesus. Right. And then she took it off. Yeah. She said she's the Olympic Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And then she removed it. And then she removed it. Okay. They know exactly what they were doing. Oh, yeah. They know exactly what they yeah. were doing. Instagram does not let me post the fat chick in the middle really? said she was Olympic Jesus. I have screenshots. Wow. It took it down multiple times. So there then one guy, one guy, uh, oh, no, no. It let me post it one time. Okay. And I think somebody reported it. And then after that, somebody underneath the comments was like, that's not very Jesusly fat chick in the middle, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm sorry, <laughs> obese chick. <laughs> and it didn't let me, it didn't let me post that. No way. It didn't let me Dang, post because I responded to somebody else, fat chick in the middle. It didn't let me post it again. So after that, they clamped down, you know? Careful, uh, man. Don't get banned. They need us. The people need us. The people need us, man. We're 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 a source of truth. Knacker Ranch. <laughs> Knacker Ranch. We're going. I'm coming, buddy. Hey, you let me know when you settle in and when you can have visitors. Come and visit. um and I and I and I man, I really want to come visit you, man. It's you been should. such a long Bro, time. Bro, just look for look for you, cheap tickets. You can come whenever you want. I know, and you've said this before, and I'm just and, I know, but now you, you have time. Now I have time. You know, now you have like time. Tomorrow everything's gonna change. All right, right, bro. Thank you so much. Love you, brother. Um, Love you too. Enjoy your, how's your watermelon? Did you finish your watermelon? Oh, for sure. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. (laughs) Dude, I've been eating so much watermelon. I've been, I've been eating one watermelon a week. Ooh, a lot of sugar. A lot of watermelon. Oh, it's amazing. And you know what? With, it's amazing. With lemon on top. Hallelujah. Oh, Ben, it changed my life. Lemon on top of watermelon. Wow. It's amazing. Wow. I gotta try it. Highly, I'm, you will, and you will thank me. I'll try it. Yes, thank you, please. Everybody, okay. thank you for watching. We love you. Don't get offended by us. We're joking sometimes. <laughs> if you are offended, I mean, you're, you're the I problem. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Come back. What, what, do we have an interview next? We, what, what, what's coming up next? Do we have anything to uh, keep them excited about? I don't even do think know? we have any interviews right now. We've Close got it. a couple on the back burner. Do you know who okay. Rob Skiba is? No, but they have a cool last name. Yeah, it is cool. S K I B A. His son is coming on. Uh, look up Rob Skiba's stuff. Okay. He's got cool stuff about uh, Nephilim. He Ooh. he's he's he was talking about this back in the day. Ooh. Nephilim, okay. flat Earth, ferment stuff. Um, nice. They're very flat Earth. We're not anymore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. uh so when this guy when his son comes on it'll be interesting to I'm talk. flip right away <laughs> i dude i wouldn't even doubt it i was actually i was actually we'll thinking to not talk to them about flat earth just for your sake because oh, you're man. weak <laughs> yeah. thanks man for watching you're weak in the faith it. uh hey and then we've got round two with edmund the catholic uh, professor, yes. yeah, the, the, and uh, yeah, we also have a round two with Douglas Wilson. Yes, and I haven't posted any of these. I'm I'm behind, and oh, and there's a guy that hit me up on Instagram. I forget his name. I'll have to post it later. Uh, he's kind of a like health, wellness, entrepreneur enthusiast. Okay, okay. And well now you gotta in- now you gotta post this one first before the other stuff that you didn't post yet. Because oh, you just crap. said that you haven't posted it yet. So, yes, this hank sesh. I want this hank sesh to go on next. Because, you know why? Because the last one was really heavy with you and the the the, the Muslim stuff. Uh, that was like, that was that heavy. Was like, that was heavy. It was, uh, it was, 
It was um, dense. It was dense and a little monotone, you know, in some ways. So like, it was just, it, but I, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. So I think like some, some, monotone. some flavor would be good for now. So and what we, you're and saying we, is when I'm on with somebody, <laughs> I shouldn't. Be no, more, I, I, more I like loved this. it, Ben. I was like so intrigued by these. But you had really good questions. Hmm. That's why I'm really happy I wasn't on that one because I would have derailed the whole thing. Because I would have been stuck on one question for like for an hour. What was your question? You, well, no, because from when you asked these questions, I wouldn't have been able to leave them. Like uh, you, they were so good and so. But you did a really good job, like with these questions. I, I really liked your questions. I was like, man, Ben did a really good job. So, thanks, bro. Yeah, if you haven't watched that, guys, watch it. It'll teach you a lot about like the the Muslim thing. And he was really great to, to oh. share all that. And there's a Muslim like rabbi or imam or whatever. I, I'm sorry, I don't know what they call it. that yeah. is supposed to come on too. Oh, Dude, we've got cool. a few. Oh, we've you got do a have few. some. Ben's, Ben's in the works. Good job. Good Just job, wait ben. till you, wait till you take over. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna be hang sessions with Ben. Just hang sessions. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of fun, though. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. Have a good night, Ben. Love, Love you guys. You, like, share, subscribe, uh, comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Only on Ben is a Menace. <laughs> I don't know why I did. <laughs> You're good. <laughs>